sit back and relax and just sit back and relax and just sit back and relax and just ah. You got it on the hot pepper show Playing good music and good conversation The hottest topic that you hear So let the music flow, resonate your soul Hello, everyone. How you guys doing? Uh, yes, I'm on. I gotta I always look over here to this mic thing and figure out what is going on. But welcome to the Hot Pepper Show. Thank you for joining me. Happy Monday to everyone out there. So I always ask, what did you do for the weekend? And then I try to wait for you guys to chime in and tell me because I, you know, I can't see you unless you respond in the comments. But um, since you asked, what did I do for the weekend? I'm just gonna tell you anyway. I uh, went to Houston and I got to experience the farewell tour of, of that Wi-Fi, I tell you, y'all, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, let me be great, let me be great. So what happened on uh, this past weekend, I went to the farewell tour of uh, Frankie Beverly and Mays and it was great. The OJs were with them. And El DeBarge, yes, y'all. When he did, you know, he did his music right, the first two songs. But when that third or fourth song was "They'll Never Be," the crowd went crazy. Everyone was singing "They'll Never Be," and then he did um, um, "I Call Your Name." And you know, I was there for all of it. I was like recording, going, "I gotta, I gotta get this. I gotta capture this." It was, yeah, it was, it was great. Uh, and you know, Al, uh, Al. Um, L is not like the singer that's like, oh, you know, it's like strong. He's just kind of, you know, quiet and just effortlessly just, and he knows how to, he knows, he knows this. Y'all, okay. My words might mess up today. <laughs> I'm having some words that I've never, he knows this. He knows how to use the mic. So it was a great um, concert and I got a surprise, y'all. The uh, MC was talking, going, hey, thank you guys for coming out to the farewell tour. Da, 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 da. Y'all didn't get the memo about the white. What y'all doing here in black and other colors? You're supposed to wear white. It's a maze concert. And then he says, introducing Lavelle. And I'm going, Love, Love, Love. Lavelle didn't tell me he was coming, going to be in Houston. So me, I'm, I'm texting his wife going, you did not tell me Lavelle was going to be here. So she said it was a spur of the moment. Um, but yeah, and then he came out in the audience singing. And while he was singing, he saw me and he says, Pepper, on the mic while he's singing. I was like, well, it was great seeing Lavelle as always. That's that's fam. I think I've had him on my show like five times. If you don't know who Lavelle is, Google his name. He is a phenomenal singer and he is a great person. Um, yeah, got to see some folks uh, while I was in Houston. Got to see Mama Eula. I want to say I love you and I'm so glad that I stopped by to see you while I was there uh, to uh, say hello to you. So I'll be back in H-Town pretty soon. And I got to see the folks I haven't seen in a while because I've been busy, busy, busy. Because if you didn't know, I'm here every Monday, 7 p.m. Central. Um, I interview some of my favorites in the industry and some of them are my friends. And some uh, I have become friend of, friends with over the years of playing their music. But I am um, here every Monday and if you are trying to comment and you can't, it's because you have not subscribed to the Hot Pepper Show. So please subscribe. It is free. Just click on the Hot Pepper Show TV on YouTube and go to the subscribe button and hit subscribe. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers before November. I believe I can do it. I can do it with your help. I feel like I'm doing this campaign. Mama, you are. Oh, I love you too. It was, it was so good to see you and Winston today. Y'all cracked me up. 
you, you let me know that there is a chance. <laughs> Especially what you guys have. There's a chance. <laughs> you give me hope. You give me hope. Oh, good to see you today. Tell Mr. Winston I said hello. Give him a kiss for me. I know he's listening right now because he listens to everything. So, <laughs> but you guys, thank you uh, for joining here every Monday. And today, I've been waiting for this moment. Anytime that I can get her, y'all, I'll be like, Lord, I know you exist. And I know you hear me. I need you to have algebra to come through. So y'all, today is the day. Algebra Blissette is my guest and I cannot wait. I have been a supporter, a fan, all of that since the beginning of, you do it for me, you do it for me. You know, the little step she did in the video, the little, the little step, you know, she started it all because after that video, everybody was doing a little step. You do it for me, you know, shoulders back. Yeah, I, I was doing all of that. I was like, you know, like that new edition song that you know, like. For me, it's poison. And um, if it isn't love, you know, everyone knows knows the steps. I knew the steps that you do it for me. So I just might show the video today and surprise her. Well, it's not a surprise now because she's laughing in the background because she sees me. So everyone, thank you for joining. I'm about to play some music by Algebra. And then after this song, I will bring my girl on. I told her that she's my best friend in my head. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. You know how you have those people that you go, I feel like we don't talk every day. We don't talk every month. We might go some years, but she's my friend. So she might, yeah, she, she's going to say I'm a friend too. I guarantee you. Everyone, this is Music by Algebra. Hey, Monique. I forgot to say hey. Hey, Monique. Thank you for joining all the way. For, oh, yeah, Monique's from Georgia. All the way from Georgia, Monique. Thank you, girl, for joining. You guys, here's some music by Algebra. Check it out right here on the Hot Pepper Show. You know what? This is what we're going to do. I didn't change this up. I'm going to play this song. She's probably going to be like, how do you know about this song? So uh, I'm going to play this. Y'all check it out right here on The Hot Pepper Show. I mean, babe, at this point, I'm just, I'm just glad I got you to listen, you know? Yeah. yeah. You knew I knew where you was at. I know, I know. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you, baby. Can we talk? Okay, yeah. All right, I'll go. Yeah. Look, I didn't know you'd be at that show. Figured I'd never see you again. Regret wrote in bold. Mentally back and forth, pacing, debating on if you're taking. But your heart's holding crutches. You ain't falling no more. If I know any better, I know my chances ain't good. Yet though I swim through the timber lakes, I was lost in the woods. I was wrong the way I left you when I killed the connection. When night in lover's lane, I got off at the wrong intersection. I was going through the most, I left my past in the past. I ain't got no other bays, I left my booze in the flash. A black queen, but I played you like a hoe when it's sad. That piece ain't even on the chessboard, I played myself bad. I pawned love like a rook and I failed the essay. Before you up and yell, checkmate. Tell the truth about those eyes and never lie. I know you want to kiss me. Stop backing like that, girl. I know you miss I me. I won't sit yeah. here and just lie to you. It kills me, but I couldn't say bye to you. I hope that you think about me on your flight. What's that drink that you like? Pink champagne Pink champagne Pink champagne Cause I still got love for you Ooh, no, no Yeah but at the same time, damn, I mean, how do you know? It was literally one night. An unhealthy decision was imminent till I found out to the water I needed. I fucked up when I ran to the... But the rays were on the rose and it got cold in my lungs. I wanted to breathe again. Adam's Eve said love is blind. I chose to see again. I bit the fruit, I kicked the rocks. That wasn't in the Bible, babe. I caught that on the box. Yeah, enough with this poetry, girl. Enough with the rhymes. I wanted that old thing back, but shit is spoiling the line. 
And you know how God be, he be on time with his signs. And if you're trying to cuff me now, just be on time with that fine. So divine how it happened, love, I'm happy you did. Hope after all of this time, you ain't have you no know, kids. Go ahead and pour me a drink, cause I get drunk off your love. Baby, give it to me like I forgot what it I was. I will yeah. sit here and just lie to you. It kills me, but I couldn't say bye to you. I hope that you think about me on your flight. What's that drink that you like? Pink champagne. Pink champagne. Pink champagne. Cause I still got love for you. Ooh. When in, in some in some wild eyed way, I believe. You. I don't know. Um, I don't want you to think I tried to set this thing up or anything like that. Like I I truly believe that this moment happened for a reason. I just want to hear your point of view, you know. Where you at? You cross my heart, but I hope to die. Hope to die in your arms. One day the words of this song will change. When is what you say? It'll be the day. When I stop believing you Ooh. Don't ever let me go I will when I stop believing you Oh, don't ever let me go I will when I stop believing you <laughs> I love that song so much. I can tell because you were like, I'm over here looking like, what's she doing? She playing that song? Girl, Listen, love it. I love, love it. that. Shout out to my boy, Willie Hen. He's my favorite. Oh. Uh, he's so just, amazing. And he's, yeah, I like it. I, you got to connect us. Yeah, you I will. Yes, I'll do yes. I will right now. Yeah. Yes. I'm doing so everyone, it right now on my phone. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, I, I, I forgot to tell you guys, I had mentioned about the concert for um, the OJs and Maze, but I got to say, because the gentleman that gave me those amazing tickets, at the last minute, I had four seats, y'all. Third floor. Third floor. Yes. I want to say thank you to PJ. He is on right now. Thank you. Thank you, PJ, for thinking of me. And um, I really, there he is, uh, uh, P, 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 Patrick Davis, thank you for those awesome tickets this past weekend. So I just want to make sure in case you get off, but yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone, I want to announce to some, and announce, uh, present to others, sound like I'm in church. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, this is none other than Algebra Lissandra, you're on the hot pepper show. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey, Pepper. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm wonderful. I'm blessed. That is good. I, that I am. I'm happy to be here with you. I'm happy to have you here. And people, y'all might not think that we we didn't plan this right. Y'all see? I know. <laughs> we we twin and twin. <laughs> Where you been? <laughs> it's like that we can say we got we got this song, but everyone out of us, I have been a um I have been a fan. Am I freezing? Nope. I got you. No, okay. 
comes on. Mm -hmm. um, I have been a fan of yours since the beginning. Like when I saw the video with the subway and I was like, mm -hmm. wait a minute, how is she mm -hmm. at in the middle of the street with a bed? Mm -hmm. Wait, now she went to the, the phone booth. Wait, she got butterflies coming out the phone. Wait, a yeah. she looking at the paper. Like, yes. So tell everyone where you're originally from. And then okay. how did it start? Like, you've been singing all your life. I know your mom, your mom is a bass player and mm -hmm. a singer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So mm -hmm. take us back to the beginning. You are originally from where? Oh, born and raised Atlanta, Georgia. First off, hey, everybody that's tuning in and those that are going to tune in later. Um, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I mean, I've lived elsewhere growing up, but I spent majority of my life here for the most part. I went to Performing Arts High School. Shout out to North Atlanta Warriors. Um, just rode by there the other day. So nostalgic. Um, I was having a conversation with my friend and in Atlanta, it's almost like Atlanta is high school. So before mm. everyone started to move here, it was just like everybody sang in Atlanta. Um, when Nivea said, you don't think about really being able to sing because uh -huh. everyone in Atlanta is a musician or they they act or they dance or they sing. So yeah. just even now, when you run into people at the coffee shop, it's like, what high school you went to? They say Tri-Cities, I'm like North Atlanta. And then we are automatic lovers and rivals at, the, at that moment. And it's not, right, because, right. yeah, because that was the other performing arts high school here. Right. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm from Atlanta and I claim Atlanta to the core. Yes. Mm. I do. I really do. When all the leave, crazy like, included. All, all the crazy. You're like, I'm from Atlanta and I own it. Yes, I do. Absolutely. Yeah. Atlanta, this this red clay definitely, definitely raised me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So um I love the artistic part of you. Okay. You know, not only are you a singer, but you you dress the part. And I love that you are <laughs> so comfortable in yourself. Cause yeah. now I think I'm gonna try, I think I'm, I might try to do that. The green. I think. I'm like, I'm oh, true. To, yeah. I might try to get it with this 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 shirt that I have. I think it would go great. You mean like this hair or whatever? Yeah, like this? Yeah. yeah. You, should, you should do whatever you want to do. But and see, I want to try because you're doing it. Because you you make me feel like I can do that. So you can. If I can do it, I know you can. That's my thing. Like if okay, if yeah. I'm moving you to try it, absolutely. That's what we're here for. We are here to be reflections of each other. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Like Correct. we're not we're not meant to be isolated. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. we've had to be, but yeah. we don't yeah. want that anymore. So if I see you and you making me want to smile more, then you did your job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. Do it is. Yeah, well. yeah. And also, I, I know, I know. Last week when I was saying, I was like, y'all, algebra, algebra is gonna be on my show on April 15th. And I was like, uh, oh, it's tax day. Algebra, math. I was like, mm -hmm. you're like, mm -hmm. did you plan that? I says, no, I did not. I didn't plan it. Oh, uh, that's I good. Did. Yeah, that's I didn't good. plan it. Yeah, it came out just like you it was. I need to send school. you a record. I need to send you a record that you can play. Oh, yes, please do. Yeah. Okay, my email is a hot pepper, hot pepper show at gmail.com. Oh, easy. Okay, I'm going to send it to you while we're on here. Girl, yes. And then, then I can, can play it. Oh, yes. Since, it, since, it's, tax, since it's tax day, you know. Since it's tax day and all. Since it's tax day and I got algebra on here. So yeah. y'all, I'm about to play this song. This is the first song. Okay, so do you want to play the video or do you want to play the song? It, you know, do your show the way you do it. Do it the way you want to do well, it. It's, do you like having visuals? Um, it's cool. I do. do well, you know what? It's up to you. I'm gonna, let's do this. I'd be trying. I was like, do y'all want me to do this? Because, you know, I, I, I don't ask often. Uh -huh. <laughs> so so when I do, I'll be like, someone else is going to make a decision for me. So got it. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead. OK, y'all, I am going to play the uh, video. And uh, and the song that caught my attention is You Do It For Me, y'all. Mm. It was like, yeah, where she come from? Who is, who is she? And what what's she doing? Like, who is she? We gotta we gotta figure out who algebra is. So y'all, uh, uh, uh. here is the video that caught my attention. This is algebra with you do it for me right here on the hot pepper show. That's crazy. 
Oh, it's like that. Girl, you threw that wig. You like I've been it. taking wigs off for a while now. <laughs> that thing ain't new. What is it? 2007, 2008? Yeah, before it was a thing. We didn't we didn't do that. If it, if it wasn't right, we didn't. Yeah, you're like, uh ah, now that's no, no. hilarious. So um People might not know this, but you received a Grammy uh-huh. in the RE's mm-hmm. Voyage to India, India mm-hmm. album. Mm-hmm. And the song was Talk to Her. Yes. One of my favorites by her. And um, what inspired you to write? Because you were you were one of the writers on the song. Um, what inspired you to write those lyrics? Because those lyrics are very powerful, and I think the song um speaks volumes mm-hmm. to how women are treated 
Mm -hmm. um, that people are really talking about. It's almost, sure. it almost seems like we sometimes don't have a voice for what we feel or how we feel we should be spoken to or talked mm -hmm. to. So where did that come from when you were writing that? Because of course you were co-writing with other others on the project, but where did it come for as far as you? So it, the produ the producer of that record is Shannon Sanders, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, who ironically um, actually produced Nobody But You as well. Mm -hmm. And um, when he sent the music, he already really had the chorus, you know, will you talk to and talk to? He had this chorus and he's like, Algebra, I want you to write this record. So I went in and I did these verses and I think it comes, I know for a fact that it comes from... I don't know what he was thinking about. Like we didn't discuss which direction it was gonna go, but I love the chorus. I love what it was saying. And for me, I'm a big fan of respect and how men and women um, intertwine, you know, mm -hmm. not intimately, intimately. Like what is that thing that separates us outside of our sexuality? It's how we communicate with each other too. You know what I mean? Like allowing men to be gentle because they're raised to not be right. But mm -hmm. then also allowing women to have a voice and be feeling comfortable enough to show their strength and their weaknesses. So I think that's where I was in my brain. Um, and I was coming off of writing a record for Deborah Killings called Without Him. Mm. So I had just did this record called Without Him. Uh -huh. um, and then when Shannon sent this record that said, talk to her. I was like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, like, it, was just, great. it just yeah. felt, it felt right. You know what I mean? Right. And that's how it, it ended up happening. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, everyone, I want you guys to hear the song. Uh, first, let me say these comments because people are chiming in. Mm -hmm. uh, Monique said Tri-Cities because, of course, Mon Monique is in Atlanta. Hey, Monique. Uh, <laughs> uh, Patrick uh, says chemistry, algebra. <laughs> he uh -huh. says algebra. And then he says super mem and He's probably saying um, Supreme Mathematics. That's oh, probably, it's, it's, yeah. It's the, yeah, he's saying Supreme Mathematics. I'm so, I'm it, so brother. Thank you. Okay, I'm like, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you and Anthony have a new record, right? Yes, yeah, we do. We do. Yeah, we'll, we'll be playing that a little bit later on. Okay. Um, Patrick says, my cousin asked if Algebra is single. I'm sure he wants to know. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. was saying the same thing in my head, like, your cousin? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Huh. Huh. <laughs> hey, Miss Jones. Oh, that's the jam. And then Monique says, hey, Algebra. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Let's play this song, of course, in the RE with some help from um, Algebra with those vocals, those writing vocals. And you're doing background vocals on this also? Yep. And also um, Larne. I don't know if you guys remember that Larne was in the studio. So towards the end, Larne came in and we all were just freestyling um, right. towards the end of that song, just having fun in the booth um, yeah. yeah yeah so i um i vocally produced that record and went in there and it was fun we did that in new york oh good times yeah nice nice <laughs> everyone here's a song talk to her about india Ari right here on the hot pepper show She's 
somebody's sister. She's somebody's mama. It doesn't matter if she's wearing a mini skirt or a business suit. Whether she's 25 or 99, treat her the way your mama taught you to. She could be the queen of Sheba. She could be a school teacher, a homemaker, a lawyer. I think it's good for your karma. But when you talk to her, talk to her, talk to her like you was somebody. Yeah. Talk to your mama. Oh, don't be smart with her. Have a heart to heart with her, just like you would with your daughter. With your daughter. Cause everything you do or say, yeah. Got to live with it every day. She's somebody's baby. She's somebody's sister. She's somebody's mama. Now let's keep it real. Nothing in the world could ever exist without its opposite. There has to be a sun and a moon, a man and a woman, and that's just the way it is. Humanity is excited, and everybody's fighting. How do we restore the peace? Mother Earth is hurting, and everybody's searching for that feminine energy. You got to talk, talk to, to her, talk to her like you want somebody. Like talk to your mama. Watch your mouth, Don't yeah, yeah. Don't spoil with her, have a heart to heart with her, just like you would with your daughter. Cause everything you do or say, yeah, yeah. You got to live with her every day. Every single day. She's somebody's baby. She's somebody. She's somebody. She's somebody. She's somebody's mama. When you talk to her, talk to her like you want somebody. Talk to your mama. Just like you fight for your sister. If you knew that somebody dissed her. How you gonna care for your daughter? Turn around and talk bad about her mama. Say, will you listen to your auntie? Never interrupt while she speaks. Make your words sweet like candy. As if you were talking to your granny. Yeah. If you really love her, then say so. And if you really need it, then say so. You love the way she thinks. Say so. You love the way she speaks. Say so. When you need some good conversation. That is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> you want to slap her down? That was some good memories just then. I just saw Larnae. She came to celebrate my birthday with me. Um, and uh, she is Aries as well. So we hung out a little bit. <laughs> She's well, a character. Birthday, so. Thank you so much. Because your birthday was the 9th of April. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you're yeah. an Aries. I have a sister that's an Aries. Hers is April the 18th. Oh, okay. Hers is coming uh -huh. up. Uh -huh. well, so I'm trying birthday, to think, sister. I, yes, I will tell her. Double uh, O Seven. I will. I will let her know that she has a, a co, and she's a she's a fan of yours too. She plays your music okay. on her her show also. So, yeah. So you've yeah. done some great collaborations with some folks uh, like mm -hmm. Jennings, Kelly Price, uh, mm -hmm. Pastor Troy. Um, what is it that excites you about the music? Is it about the um, the creativity of it and where it takes you mean you. doing it with other people or just doing it with other people. general oh, oh um i'm a fan first as eric says you know um i'm definitely a fan of it it's the one thing that it's like math and money to me like music mm -hmm. math money it's it's the same across this universe you know what i mean that those are the things that evoke feelings and mm -hmm. it doesn't lie you know, like mm -hmm. once you write it down, it's real, right? Yeah, so yeah. 
I think I know for sure singing music, mm -hmm. not just listening to it, but being able to write a song and yeah. um, create something. Mm -hmm. It it's, it reminds me of like it reminds me that there's a God because that's not me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, like it's it's like yeah. how 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 is it that some people can do this and some people can do that, um, mm -hmm. but then when I look back, I can't really say where I was. I just know that I'm I'm allowed to be a vessel if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. It um, makes sense. It and makes I sense. like it. I like it. I like being able to um, to be a part of something bigger than myself more than anything. And I think yeah. especially with collaborating with people that I love already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. It's um, yeah. I don't think I've ever done any work where I've walked away and felt like I shouldn't have done that. Really? I, I think I, yeah, I have not done. That's I mean, great. because relationships go, you know, they they go mm -hmm. in and out, up and down, left and right. Mm -hmm. But there's not a body of work that I've done that I would ever feel any um regret from. You know, like. I don't know. Because first off, I, don't, I only do stuff I want to do. <laughs> Maybe we should start there. I do what I want to do. Sure. I think that's key. Yeah. And no one has to force you into it to say, come on. And you're like, no, I'm not. You're good at saying no. No, I don't want to do that. I'm not feeling that. Yeah. 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 yeah I, um, I practice that. But I, I'll give you a great example. I've had reservations about going into something. So one of, one of my favorite songs ever. So Kelly Price calls and um, mm -hmm. she's like, Al, um, I have this record that I want you to do. So first I'm kind of like, me? <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a huge Kelly KP Price. fan. Like I, Kelly Price, I, I'm an R&B girl. Like yeah. let's not get it twisted. Uh -huh. And um and I have been knowing Kelly's from since I was signed to Dallas Austin. I met Kelly many, many years ago before her album even came out when she was, you know, working with Mariah. Uh -huh. And of course, this is just being in Atlanta. And right. um, she calls and I'm like, really? For real? And I'm excited. So uh -huh. she sends me this record and I listen to it mm -hmm. because Kelly is one of my favorite writers as well. And mm -hmm. um, I listened to this record and I was like, wait a minute. I, should, should I be, do I need to say this? Is this something that algebra would say? Is this mm -hmm. something that, Pepper, let's just say I was I was nervous about doing it. And I even right. talked to Kelly. I was like, well, what you think? She's like, well, and she gave me a whole spiel. Right, and she, right. re, she reminded me of the art and the power that we have, right? And what mm -hmm. perspectives can do. Right, so I ended right. up having a conversation with my brother uh, Q Parker from 112. I was like, right. Q, Kelly sent me this record, and and I don't know, I don't I don't know if I should be saying this. Right, mm -hmm. right. And both of them were like, pray about it. Mm. Like, That's not the advice I need. I already know <laughs> I gotta do that. <laughs> I need some. Y'all tell me something else. else. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Tell me. Don't tell me something I know. <laughs> Um, long story short, you know, fast forwarding, I ended up doing this song and the, the song is called um, Conversations with Her. And it is by far one of my favorite records and duets uh, because of course it's Kelly, but the story behind it and what it's talking about, I didn't realize how real those subject matters are because I had never experienced it. And, uh -huh. but a lot of my girlfriends had. Yeah. You know, I have some guy friends that had experienced that. And for me to take the the role and these are my my acting skills. This is me being an artist. I don't get yeah. to choose what my character is a lot of times. Right. 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 And, right. Um, again, that was just me kind of being able to just being pliable in this world of artistry and creativity mm -hmm. and I was so happy that I was led to do that song with her I don't think it would have come off um any better with anyone else it, yeah. it, it was supposed to be Kelly it was supposed yeah. to be you know yeah. and that song I listen to that song I get mad myself even when I <laughs> when I listen to it I'd be like, Lord, these people ain't gonna like me no more. <laughs> <laughs> the, the side chick then came to wife, and <laughs> like this is a soap opera. So. 
but so, I love that song so much. Speaking of the song, now I want, I'm, I want to play it for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Kelly, do I, you want me to be the other woman? I can't, that's not, you know, that. that's not me. That's not I how I do that. Yeah. 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 But I was the other woman and yeah. um, just how Kelly writes and how she sees things. It was, then I was like, why you choose me to do it? Wait a minute. <laughs> Who out of all the things, out of all the Nobody. Who Nobody. Me. And that's the thing, because we all know amazing singers, which mm -hmm. I'll say this. It reminds us that it's not about, sometimes it's not about if you can do something or not. Mm. because, you know, people like to say, who sings better? Who does this? Mm -hmm. Who does that? Mm -hmm. That's not what it's about. Sometimes a message is to be gotten across specifically from certain exactly. people, right? Exactly. And um, yes. and I have to, ha I got to have this musical vocal fight with my friend. How beautiful is that? I get to be mm -hmm. angry mm -hmm. with my friend on this record. Yeah. yeah, it's like Joan Crawford and Betty Davis, and exactly. it's like, exactly. and it's the best thing ever. So it's like, I'm just happy, and she's she's a phenomenal person. Period. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Well, shout I out to I Kelly was... Aries. Shout out to Kelly Price. Thank you, Kelly, for asking uh, Algebra to be on this project. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna play the song so everybody can hear the song. So don't look at Algebra sideways, okay? Well, you can, cause I'm just saying we all live and learn. <laughs> She ain't coming after your man, okay? So she's just she's just the messenger, okay? That didn't I mean that she was living the messenger. Open your eyes, mama. <laughs> so everyone hears the song, trust, conversations trust, with him. Trust your good. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Let's check it out right here on the Hot Pepper Show. Hello. Kelly, it's I know who this is. Listen, I know I shouldn't be calling you, but I just, we're not friends anymore, and I don't know who else to call. I cannot believe this. He's yours, you've got him. Now what is this you say? We have so much in common, more than his last name. What do you want from me? Because I don't have the time. Don't hang up. Please, cause I need to confide He's hiding himself yes, I know and coming home late mm -hmm. I have been waiting But he already ate oh, yeah, I'm tired of crying mm -hmm. Don't know what to do mm -hmm. Don't like how it feels in your right. shoes So what the hell you calling me for? Karma's knocking at your door I don't have that problem no more your bed now, so just lay. I just can't believe he do really? this. Girl, he's got you looking real foolish. I know I deserve this, and I'm the you one to play. Side chick to miss him. Did you really think Wait. he changed? What do you want from me? Really? I'm trying to make this right. It's already done. You see, you relive in my oh, life. The neighbors were talking. At church was the same. Oh, Took everything from me. Let nothing so change. So keep your I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. They don't mean a thing. He's yours now. You're wearing the I ring. Know. So what the hell you calling me for? I really need my Come knocking at your door. I, know. I don't have that problem no more. Hey, yo, what took you so long to get 
to the door. Shh. Shh. You need to, we gotta make this happen. You know how hard it was to get up out the house? Shit, I'm trying to grab my phone. Yeah, we gotta make this happen right now. What? You gotta get up off that phone. Who you on the phone with? It's your wife. What? Your wife is on the phone. Ha! 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 I love Kelly so much. That girl is brilliant. I love it. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's your it's your wife. What? I, 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 you just talking? Kelly, that's when you mute the phone or something. I don't know. <laughs> and then tell him it's your wife. Yeah. No, but what's crazy is it's funny because just the idea of that song is so um it's so focused in like the the side chick became the wife mm -hmm. but then the wife gets cheated on by the first wife like it's such a weird entanglement type of situation <laughs> it's like okay so now you see how i was like i don't know if i need to uh -huh. be a part of this situation ship uh huh, uh huh, and that's what it, it was—a situationship. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's what friends are supposed to—they supposed to bring you out your comfort zone. And yeah. baby, she brought great. you out. It was funny. <laughs> she said, "You coming out?" Mm -mm, that's what she said. Like, okay, how do I do this? Yeah, great. Thank you for sharing that story with us, everyone. This is algebra blissett, and you know, I've noticed that there's another algebra. Really? Yeah. They do Where? African beats. Oh, like a band or something? Yeah, no, it's a guy. It's a guy. And his name is Algebra. Oh. I was I was yeah. So oh, everyone, I uh look for Algebra Blissett. Yeah, yeah, because he does Afro beats and it's like it's not algebra. It's oh, totally oh he made himself algebra. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He made himself algebra, but there's only one algebra. Got it. facts. And she got here before the math started so this right. is the original algebra and then they decided to come up with the algebra and mathematics and now there's a third algebra so she's the number one so yeah I, I did well that. well my aunt is actually one so i was named after my aunt okay so your aunt and then you're number two I'm, and then i'm algebra two like for real in real okay. life okay. right <laughs> <laughs> so algebra that's interesting i don't know of anyone else named algebra yeah yeah Mm -hmm. Just my aunt. Um, she's my namesake. Well, I'm her namesake. And um, uh -huh. I was named after both of my parents' siblings. So it's Algebra Felicia Blessed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Felicia, Algebra Felicia Blessed. I like it. Yeah, that's me. So let's go to the song that was posted uh, last year uh -huh. by uh, an artist mm -hmm. that, that gave you a little shout out. Uh -huh. And this is the song, y'all. She she wondered what song is it? Mm, yeah, I'm wondering. Ooh. Ooh. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. Here it is, y'all. This is Algebra, <laughs> one of my favorites by her. She's like waiting. I see those eyes. It's funny how some things stay on your mind. It's funny how some moments hang in time. I remember when we met, how we became good friends. But I don't remember when, when you started to go astray. And for the reason that you finally went away, where did you leave me? If it were really one else, I could cut all my ties. But you're a part of my life, and it's starting to feel like everywhere I go, I hear your name. And I play it all like things are the same. Pretending to know the reason why that it's not. Oh, what happened, baby? What happened, baby? What happened, honey? Oh, oh. On my head, I haven't seen it. I just don't know what to say. We used to spend time, we used to be fine. You had my heart, 
Now we don't even talk like we used to. Baby, this is not what I'm used to. Tell me what did it go? What do anything to know that it was not all in vain? And there is a reason that you went away. And I go out everywhere I go, baby. It all happens all the same. Thank you. Beautiful. And the artist that I was mentioning, or I didn't mention, mm -hmm. but the artist that was giving you a shout out last year on this song was Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Yes. Snoop. Snoop. My nizzle for shizzle. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, th those are the things that um, I tell you, like a lot of times it's, it's a, I don't really have to be reminded that I am a fan first of this. Like I love meeting people that I'm a fan of. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember when I met Snoop, he, um, you know how when you, it's, I felt the need to call my uncle because my uncle is such a big fan. Oh, wow. Right. So yeah. as soon as I met Snoop, he was like, you don't think I know who you are. I was like, oh, no. He pulled out his phone and he like, so I was like, I was like, so this is this is before Instagram and yeah, yeah, and Facebook. Like this is this is a time where we didn't we weren't able to capture everything, right? Mm -hmm. So I remember taking out my phone, took this picture, and I was so happy to call my uncle. I was like, Uncle Sammy, guess who I just met? <laughs> and I fanned out and I called him. I tell you, it's it's great. Yeah, shout out to Snoop. I love Snoop. I love you. And he's just such a musician, too. Yeah. I don't think yeah. people really know. Like, this man is a musician, and I love yeah. it. His ear is impeccable. Wow. So, um, okay, there's some comments that people, they're like going, can you say the comments? Okay, so Monique says, that's a truth record, and I believe she's talking about the Kelly Price song, the way females get called out of their names these days. What's even sadder is that some females want to be called those things. Oh, I think she's talking about talk talking to about her. Talk to her, yes, Indiara, yes. Yeah. Well, and, and I will say this. I think a lot of things have been normalized that should not have been ever normalized. Um, it it doesn't take us back. It's just, it's evolving into something. I mean, we can look at it different ways. Either mm -hmm. it's, I'm going to normalize calling you out of your name, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say that it's a term of endearment. People take that um that way of thinking about it. And then I think other people are more like, um, 
put some respect on my name. Like, don't call me out of my name. I don't care how close we are. I don't care what your upbringing is. I want to be um, acknowledged and respected a certain way. So I think we do have to be mindful as creatives Mm -hmm. and um, as parents, as employers, Mm -hmm. just to kind of grab back the kindness that we're supposed to have. Um, You know, it's one thing to take out, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, but it's Mm -hmm. a whole nother thing to replace it with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. calling me some type of animal or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. So thank you, Monique, for that. And then Patrick says a lot of hiding in the closet, LOL. And he's talking about conversations. Of course, he is. (laughs) There's a whole lot of hiding in the closet. It it goes down in the closet. I tell you that. (laughs) It's stuff I don't want to know about. (laughs) Right. Monique says, speaking of KP, Kelly Price, I think there's another KP. I think you would make a great collaboration. With it's Molly Music's latest, his sister KP, Keisha Paul. Right. Okay, have you ever? Yeah, met? I've never met her, but I am a fan, but and Molly as well. Um, I never yeah. met Molly, but I love. Yeah. I'm telling you, like, it's it's messages out there, and the yeah. messages in the music. Um, mm-hmm. and it doesn't have to be. It's not beautiful all the time. I yeah. will say that. I will yeah. say that. Yeah. So let's go to a song that um, I've always loved and you mentioned earlier um uh shannon sanders i love him he's a beautiful person great writer i've interviewed him before on my platform on my radio show and he is yeah he's he's magnificent in itself uh the song that he wrote by you nobody but you when this song came out girl i was like who what's she doing i feel like i need to get on my roller skates which i haven't gotten on in a long time listen yeah it would be kind of impossible to skate to that. Nobody but you <laughs> cross over with the feet and be like, okay, oh. I, I might be going into the wall right now. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but everyone, I like this it. Is, this is algebra with nobody but you. Y'all get ready right here on the Hot Pepper Show. Boy, listen. Everybody can't be in my head Everybody can't sleep in my bed Everybody can't be up in my face Everybody can't be all in my space Now I might fuss a little bit, cuss a little bit, you know this, yeah But if you trust a little bit you go get 100 percent I don't want nobody but you don't want nobody touching me, baby. Don't want nobody kissing me, baby. Uh, don't want nobody loving me, baby. But you, 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 but you Everybody won't understand my journey. Everybody won't know how to heal what hurts me. Everybody can't be written into my story. Just because they want me don't mean they ready for me. Now I might go a little fit, talk a little slick. I do this, yeah. I'm willing to go in that nick perfect fit, baby. You the sh- I don't want nobody but you. Don't want nobody touching me, baby. What you thought you were in my heart. Never mind. What you think you were in my dream. Never mind. How it seems you might have to Never mind. I don't want nobody but you. I don't want nobody touching me, baby. Kissing me, baby. Don't want nobody loving me, baby. But you, 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 you,
don't want nobody but you. Love it, love it, love it. Yay. Love it. Yay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So who are you fascinated with in the music industry right now? Who has mm. caught your ear that you're like, it's different? That's not fair. I can't. I, I'm too honest with myself. Well, um, I want you to be honest. Let me tell you who I, um, first off, I listen to any any and everybody mm-hmm. that I grew up with or mm-hmm. that I hadn't heard, you know, before mm-hmm. I even put a project out. Mm-hmm. But um, music is very, I think I'm, I've been doing it for so long. I hear the repetition. Mm-hmm. So when you say different, it's hard for me to to think of people that I love so much. It's not that they're different. It's just that they're doing it so right. Like they're doing it so good. So I don't, I never really listen for difference. I listen for honesty in the work. I listen okay. for, um, you know, just, and I think that's the thing. Like, I don't, cause you can tell when people are trying to be different. I'm not attracted to that. Okay. Okay. I, cause why would you try to be different? Just. Just be yourself. Just, just be yourself. And yeah. what, what's going to come out is going to separate you from anything that's going on anyway. So I love her. I love SZA. I love, um, I love, um, I like Tyler, the creator. Like, here's some, I, oh, I love um, Billie Eilish. Um, mm-hmm. I am, I, I think I'm in a space where I love Molly Music. We brought him up. Um, mm-hmm. Kenya Dixon. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? I think I'm a, I love writers. I love stories. I love songs that evoke feeling. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. often go back to like listening to like the first two or three Outkast albums. I, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. it, yeah, I, I could go on and on and watch as soon as we're done with this um, interview, 12 more are going to come to mind that are not coming to mind now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyone that, it, I think music is in a great place. Mm-hmm. Now, how we get the music, I'm not a fan of that because of, you know, the artists that, um, how, mm-hmm. we, how we're getting paid. But mm-hmm. I love where music is, like what people are doing now. It's mm-hmm. not, I don't think it's watered down like mm-hmm. it used to be. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. people are really not ashamed to play their instruments. They're not mm-hmm. ashamed anymore to sing these songs that of life that they've gone through and they're ready to mm-hmm. share it. Yeah, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. I like been, that all. Been a little bit more authentic uh, or being honest in what they're singing and yeah. not being controlled by um, the industry or people telling them this is what I need you to do. They're like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. I want yeah. I want to do this. Yeah, I, I like it. I like um sometimes you can see the influence because I and this is me being very transparent. I feel like when it comes to music and art, depending mm-hmm. on what drugs are cool, it mm-hmm. really shifts what music is coming out. You mm-hmm. know, it's not just a generational thing. Like I've always put to it or, or what the financial state is um mm-hmm. that we're in. What is our uh, it's not just about the love affair with music, but sometimes where you are in your life mm-hmm. and in conjunction with what drugs are popular in conjunction with what is your day-to-day like you know what i mean because mm-hmm. i mean think about it like the 80s was like what crack time listen to the mm-hmm. music that was going on mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. the 60s with marijuana what everything was just so like in every genre rock r&b yeah. the, one, the one genre that don't change with the drugs is gospel like <laughs> Gospel yeah, is, I don't think gospel changes with it might. Uh, yeah, it, it, has. it does because the thing is, it's the it's the um it's the um the leaders or the spiritual leaders or the um, the gospel artists that are emulating so much of the soul and R and B and hip hop, right? So, mm-hmm. but I always feel like there's the spirit of love and joy in God in gospel. Yeah. So if you're a crackhead, it still sound like. If you are popping pills, I don't know. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, 
And I was thinking yeah. what Monique just uh, posted. She says country because I'm thinking uh -huh. country has not really changed to me. Um, so country, so the the one time that country music changed um, for me is during the time of Shania Twain, mm. right? So mm. there was a big shift with because Shania was this pop version of country mm. where really the country community did not like it at all. Yeah, yeah. They did not like it. They did not feel like she could sing. They did not. But those songs were technically country songs, but then where does country come from? But we, that's all another conversation. Mm -hmm. I think country, um, it's always been black country artists, but mm -hmm. now they're seeing, you know, mm -hmm. especially now even more, but even years ago, mm -hmm. it's always been those types of songs there that had a very gospel influence, mm -hmm. but yeah. Shania didn't go that route. So then we had our, um, even with Garth Brooks, like, Mm -hmm. The way his records have flowed over the years. And mm -hmm. oh, and they couldn't stand Billy, Billy Ray Cyrus, too. It was a moment where they were like, ah, oh, Billy. Yeah. But that was Doc Martin, you know. Uh -huh, but uh -huh. yeah, I think and country don't, was. Don't forget the yeah. Dixie Chicks. You know, they yeah. said that was political. Let me tell you. I love the Let Dixie me tell you. I love. I love them. Yes. The Dixie I Chicks. Them. I did. Them too. girl. Yeah. They, ch they changed my. my the way that I was listening to music and mm -hmm. songwriting as well. Mm -hmm. um, Cause Rascal I grew up quartet Black. gospel. Rascal <laughs> Flat. <laughs> yes. Don't make me see, I got a whole list of things that I need to just go listen to when I'm done. Mm -hmm. um, Rascal Flax, absolutely. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. That country mm -hmm. music is a, is a, I mean, they're great, great storytellers and, yeah. and it's all they talk about. Mm -hmm. Alcohol, mm -hmm. love, mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. truck or car, mm -hmm. sports, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know, and I love my country, mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. country that is, you know. So, mm -hmm. so you mentioned quartet music. So, um, who's your? I grew up quartet music too, because my my dad, small world. My dad was in a quartet group, mm -hmm. and a, one of the founding members of that group. My dad was in the group for like 25, 30 years. But one of the members of the group was Kelly Price's great uncle. Okay. Okay. So uh -huh. I grew up in at Quartet. What was Music, the name of the group? Uh, the Gospel Mourners of Taylor, Texas. Yes. Yeah, so the Gospel Mourners of Taylor, Texas. And yeah, they, <laughs> they, they, they did the radio. They were on the radio every morning, Sunday uh -huh. morning at 6 a.m. to 6.30 for 30 minutes yes. every Sunday morning. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love, yeah, that's my that's my upbringing. There's my mom. They were in um, uh, the Spiritual Horizons, the Harrison Gospel Singers, um, the Mighty Knights, Mighty Clouds of Joy, the Jackson mm -hmm. Southerners. Mm -hmm. So growing up, all of the Lee Williams, like all of these were my uncles in a way. So mm -hmm. it's interesting because even in that genre, it's mm -hmm. almost I said this in another interview. It's almost like the rappers. All the rappers are Lil This or big this or whatever and all the quartet gospels is the gospel such and such or the mighty uh -huh. <laughs> or the, the the jubilee you know it's always like that's their thing like how what would you name a quartet group right now that i should put that in a post like what is a cool quartet name if you could put artists together and make them a a quartet group what would that name be right now that would be interesting let's see the newfound generals I don't know. <laughs> the newfound new generals. Yeah. The new Ladies found. and gentlemen, coming for an A and B selection, the newfound generals. Say man, a man, a man. All right. <laughs> yeah. I know. Now, when we find out that somebody has come with the name the newfound generals, I'm gonna be like, mm -hmm. Y'all were listening to the Pepper Show. Y'all was listening. Pay attention. Listening. Yes, paying attention. So everyone, this is Algebra. Let's get back to some other music by you. Talk One of my other favorites is mm -hmm. Girl. Oh, let me just press the button. I'll just okay. press the button. Hey, DJ. Come on, take, take me back one time. This goes out to the old school. Your Let's get it in. I want to blow the very joy I
show um richard uh texted me and said oh. hey that's my joint oh well, i was waiting right on don't want nobody but you so <laughs> i did it richard just for you richard don't want nobody but you okay that's that's your song and also uh i got a message that uh one of the names for the quartet group you ready yes um uh, green eggs and ham quartet I'm not doing this with y'all. I'm not doing this with y'all. I'm not. I refuse to go down that rabbit hole with y'all. I'm not doing it. I'm not. Green <laughs> eggs. I'm not doing it. Nope. They said they said we're making them hungry. They see the green green eggs. <laughs> I'm hungry too. <laughs> like, I'm hungry like, myself. Not no green eggs on hell. Oh, pepper. This is so good. I'm so proud of you. This is good. Thank you. 
That's Thank good. you for being proud of me. It means a lot because yeah. I value your opinion. I really do. Yeah, absolutely. You've been doing this for a long time. And you're really good at it. Very, very good at it. And, um, Thank you. Thank yeah, you. it's fun. Um, Thank you. It's good to talk to somebody that I actually know. Feels great, yeah. right? It is. <laughs> and they pronounce your, your name properly? Um, no, Al not at all. They don't. They no. they don't say algebra, algebra or algebra. No. Um. So I am everything but algebra. I've I've had Allegra, um, uh, algebra, um, algebra. Um, yeah, every everything oh, wow. but algebra. But I understand it though. Like I don't. I'm. I don't get offended at all. I just. Yeah. I just yeah. know. Yeah. Because you, you yeah, okay. everybody, major, ninety percent of folk had algebra in school, right? Yeah. So it's kind of that's something that they didn't like, and yeah. Um, yeah. to see it on paper as a mm -hmm. name, it just mm -hmm. doesn't register. Yeah. A lot of times. Yeah. Yeah. So we were we'll talking earlier about um, the dynamics of how uh, our culture is in this time and age here in the states, and, and speaking about. Uh, us not being over here mm -hmm. connected um, as we should be because, um, you know, I was mentioning that, you know, people are like, hey, you know, you graduating in three weeks. Yeah. You're going to be 18. And it's time for you. You better get a job. You better mm -hmm. go to college or you're going to the military. Yeah. But you ain't going to be no grown man or grown woman up in this house yeah. and you ain't going to be working. So I, I look at that at other cultures and which is totally different, you know, um, the way they are connected and the way they help each other as a culture, mm -hmm. you know, they had, they had 20 people in the house, you know, guys, right. they're yeah. coming over, we'll help you get on. And then they get to their, their place and then they help the next person come in and then they help the next person. So it's like a, a cycle, but mm -hmm. we don't see that. Um, I don't think everybody can handle that. I don't think it should ever. I don't think it's a, that's something that's been normalized. And I don't think it's a part of, it's not a good thing for, the, I hate to say this, but black African culture. Like that's just not the African culture. Like there it's families, like different cultures, whether it's Latino, um, um, like Asian, like whatever, Asian. Mm -hmm. like any Indian, so many cultures and mm -hmm. even ours. So I'm, I'm not going to say that because depending on if you were um, blessed to have your great grandmother or your great great grandmother mm -hmm. or see them. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They didn't leave the house until they got married. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It mm -hmm. was very home filled um, and love filled. So I don't the pressure of an 18 year old young man having to get a job now mm -hmm. as a parent. It just depends on how they look at it. You know your child. So you know if that's something that your child needs and also knows that he can come home or she can come home. Mm -hmm. But I also feel the pressures of, oh, I'm an adult now. I don't think it should be so bombarded. If there's a way to teach your child, because we're still kids at 25. I mean, mm -hmm. I, if I could do it all over again, I don't know. Um, it was a way that my mom taught me independence. Mm -hmm. while still letting me know that she'll always be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She did yeah. that with my brother. She did it with my other sisters. So mm -hmm. I don't think it's anything wrong with staying at home longer. But then if you are a parent that is allowing someone to just not do anything and not teach them, that's a whole, that I'm not cool with that. Yeah. But I don't think it's anything wrong for you to be 20 to a 22 year old um, mm -hmm young lady or young man living at home with their parents mm -hmm. and you're working mm -hmm. and you're helping them mm -hmm. and they're helping you. Um, I don't think it's a, it's, is it trophy worthy to have your first house at 22? It could be, mm -hmm. but if it makes sense for your life, I don't think it should be a, a definite, you got to do this. Mm -hmm. By the time you're 30, you need mm -hmm. to have this and you need to have that. Mm -hmm. It's not fair to the it's not fair to the 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 community that we're supposed to be developing for each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's um it's very isolating too. I'm not yeah. saying coddle your child. Yeah. Um, I don't have children, so I can't tell people what to do. But I know for a fact, as a an adult woman, mm -hmm. in my 
dream of dreams. I want this huge mansion and I want my whole family to be there because I want my family to get on my nerves. I don't want nobody else to get on my nerves. You yeah. know, I want I I want to. And it's a test for me, too. Not that it's about I somebody needing their space, but we need to have better um, dynamics of community. Mm. Of, what what it actually means to it takes a village what that actually means mm -hmm. it takes a village even for adulthood mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. me and my girls we have our thing me and my guy friends we have our thing and mm -hmm. it's different communities that we have to be a part of um and of course you're not gonna get that until you are away from the nest but mm -hmm. i don't know if the sense of urgency to be out by 18 mm -hmm. um Especially mm -hmm. if you don't have to. If mm -hmm. you have, if you're lucky enough to have a community, parents, siblings, aunts, uncles, to say, hey, of course you can be an adult in the house, but this is what adults do in the house. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So that, that, and that's just my opinion. I don't know. <laughs> I ain't want to get thrown out. Nope. Oh, yes, exactly. So got some comments here. Um, let's see here. Carolyn Smith just joined us. She's in uh, Colleen, Texas, Fort Hill, Texas. She says, good all evening right. all. Thank you, Carolyn. Nice to have you here. And Monique says, I'm looking in my memories and I saw you at St. James Live, April the 16th, 2017. John Roberts and Friends. That was a mm -hmm. great show. Wow. Thank I you. I John Roberts too. John is yeah. magnificent also. Yeah, I think he has a new album coming out too. So it's oh, great. yeah. I need to get him on my platform. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. Yes. Uh, Tiara mm -hmm. Shanae says, yes, indeed, it takes a village. Yes, it does. And Monique says, hey, Carolyn. So now I want to get into the relationship that you have with somebody that when uh -huh. y'all collaborate together, uh -huh. it is nothing but fire. <laughs> so I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for this album. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm waiting for this album of songs for y'all to duet with and i know you know who i'm talking about mm -hmm. anthony david mm -hmm. what's going on we need an album like what's, what's going on i don't know have him on the show and ask him i need to have him on my show i need yeah. to uh i think i have his number yeah i think i need to get him on my show have and him ask on your show and ask him and yes. then let me know what he say okay i will <laughs> <laughs> Look at I'm gonna be sitting there going, let me text algebra right now. Right. He said, he said conversations with Pepper. Be like, okay, we got a song called that conversation with Pepper. Pepper said that's that. funny. That's I'll be funny. Like, oh no. So the, the, the song that I love, that I love by y'all. You know, this is this is this is one that that uh, was at the top of the charts. Everyone was loving this song. Mm -hmm. Forevermore. Yes. Forever is a mighty long time. Yes. And I really want to spend it with you. Yes. So the story behind this song, my nephew, um, my nephew called me, I don't know, uh, six months ago. And I was mm -hmm. in the grocery store and he was like, um, there's this song, I I've been singing it all night and I woke up this morning and I can't think of the name. So I'm in a grocery store walking down the aisle trying to get some baking, you know, stuff. And I said, well, wh what is it? How does it go? So he's singing this song. But girl, the words are nothing like forevermore. I can't even okay. remember what he said. It was just like, um, you know, probably for it wasn't even forevermore. He says, I want to love you more. And, you know, uh, and I want to. And, and I was like, <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. So. He kept, you know, kept kept going over and over and over. So then I said, uh -huh. he said one word and I go, is it forevermore? And he says, no, I don't think so. And I says, okay, I sent him the song. I said, listen to it. He mm -hmm. called me back and he says, that's the song. And I says, all the words that you said had nothing to do with this song. Nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. But so, that's his song. That's his song. Yes. So now yes. he's like, and I told him I was interviewing you. I says, I'm interviewing Algebra. And she's uh -huh. on that song. He says, "You remember when I called you and I couldn't think of what the name of the song was?" <laughs> I said, "Yeah." And that's his jam. I like it. Jam. So, uh, everyone, this is Anthony David and Algebra Blissett, the perfect combination team of singing together. It's like this chemistry of like, you know when to flow. He knows when to flow. You know, you could mm -hmm. probably not even be in the same room and still sing together, right? You could mm -hmm. still sing. 
together and tuning on key. So this is the song that y'all got. Y'all can get up and start dancing because I'm about to mute my mic because I'm going to start singing, especially when Fonte. Okay. Okay. So shout out to Fonte. Shout out to Fonte. This is Forevermore. Anthony David, Algebra, and Fonte right here on the Hot Pepper Show. Tattoo with the love we bring from the seeds we sow to the time it takes to grow long enough to show you I won't let go of you. It's about you. I'm incomplete. It's not so without this beat. I'm oh, saying oh. you are the man I need. I need. I need. I need. I need. I need. Yeah. 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 Plans just to be with you. 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 Be I do, I do, I do. 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 do. I 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 do. Take all the color off, try to repaint it. If you want picture perfect, well, we ain't it. Because we paint it. I own porch with a me and you that can never be tainted. Because real love embodies all colors of the spectrum. Mix a few greens with your reds and your blues. Create some new views, then you rehang it. Start over, even though your friends don't doubt you. And all them others have been trying to scout you. It gets so tiring, but I'd be lying if I said that I'd be better off without you. And when I think of walking out, you smile in the way that Make me feel like I'll be lost without you. Me and you are the only threats to us. So death to us, I'm standing next to you. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, girl. What you say, girl? I accidentally didn't say anything. Oh, you were laughing. <laughs> so, yeah. how does it feel? Like that song was being played at everyone's wedding. Um, it's it's like the theme song at the at the about love, like for yeah. more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a it's a it's a great song. I enjoy performing it. Um, yeah. Fonte is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it a it was one of those records that I don't think I um, 
Anthony said he's always known that it was going to like be a big record. Uh-huh. I can't say that I knew. I just kind of, I was like, I like this record. This record is easy. It was easy to write to. I wrote it mad quick and yeah. it was a fun song to do. And then when Fonte put his bars on, I was like, oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, uh, okay. Carolyn says, hello, Monique. Been multitasking, been watching since the beginning. Thank you, Carolyn, for watching since the beginning. Multitasking. Uh, Monique says, yes, yeah, like Donnie and Roberta album as a collaboration. I, you. I just bought the album again last night. You this did? Crazy. I did. Oh, wow. Wow. It's such a great album. Uh, it is. It is. I have it on vinyl. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Carolyn Smith says, the hot pepper connector. <laughs> I know, right? Blanche J. Love this song. Blanche J. Oh, wait. Okay. Algebra. Do you, have you heard of yes. Blanche J? I'm here and now. Okay, write this name down. Okay, got I'm it. I'm gonna connect. I'm gonna connect y'all. Okay. Blanche J yeah. is. Whew. Okay. You need to know Blanche J. She is. Uh, she's currently with. Uh, she's the vocal. She's background singer for Ari Lennox, mm-hmm. and she's also uh, her vocal co- vocal coach. But she has a I project out. She's. Uh, she's great. So yeah, Blanche J. I'm gonna connect you in algebra, because y'all need to know each other. Um, Monique says, I've seen Anthony perform both his and Algebra's parts on Forevermore. What? <laughs> you were singing both parts? Okay, Anthony. Ant, Ant, D. Uh, Jim Murphy says, some awesome and priceless collaboration going on here. It sure is. And Carolyn says, it really is a great song. Yes, it is. It's all about the love. Mm-hmm. All about the love. Mm-hmm. Now, another song that you did um, that um, I thought should have, well, it's still new. Well, it's it's still pretty new. Um, you guys did, I know, I'm over here sniffing. Girl, I'm like, I'm going allergies. I'm going, I'm just sniffing and then the algebra's laughing at me. So this song that uh, I don't think a lot of people know about, uh, okay. which is entitled Only One, There's Only One You. Oh, the jazz, the ja- yeah, the jazz yes. record. Girl, this mm-hmm. song is so, and every time that I play it on my show, my radio show on Saturdays, mm-hmm. people call because it is such mm. a beautiful song about, there's only one you mm-hmm. and you can't be anyone else. Mm-hmm. And so many of us try to be other people, you know, like we yeah. don't feel comfortable in ourselves. And so I think that um, social media society is showing us that you're not good enough, mm. you know, because of the likes that you're not receiving on that post that you did, or, yeah. um, you know, you're not, you're, you're trying, you see someone else and you're thinking, oh, if I do what they did, then my mm-hmm. likes are going to go up and that doesn't happen. But this mm-hmm. song is about, there's only one you. Yes. And when you realize there's only one you and you just be yourself, it's good enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Always, yeah. always. That that and a lot of that comes from the community that we come from. Mm. Like if if we keep our babies with us long enough without you know coddling them and we give them a sense of self, you know, be there when they decide what they want to be and how they want to be, how they want to walk in this life. Um, because life is not about competition. I don't care what they say, it's about um competing with yourself to see. Just how great can you be? Mm. Like, compete with yourself and see just how fly you can be. Like, yeah, it's about. I I love that. Like, yeah, it's only one me in this world. I know that. Now, if y'all find, I mean, we probably got a doppelganger somewhere, but <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like, I didn't only share one. the. You know what I'm saying? It's just one. Just one. Mm-hmm. Just one. Only one. So y'all, here's the song. You're gonna love it. This is uh, Algebra along with uh, Lynn Roundtree. Shout out to Lynn. Yeah, beautiful song. Check it out, you guys, right here on the Hot Pepper Show. Another you, another 
I need to change my my song in the morning to get me up. Oh, yeah, that's a great <laughs> reminder because even the strong need to be reminded. That's who needs to be reminded the most. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so because we all have been. We we all. It, let me tell you, there's so much going on. A gentle reminders are necessary. I'll say that. Mm. Gentle reminders. Um, it's a beautiful thing to be an anomaly, right? Mm. And we all are so very, very special. Mm. Now, I wish that I wish that was a course in grade school. Mm. I wish it was. Yeah. What type of world would this be? Yeah. If you actually knew your worth and you actually knew your power. Um, and knew how to use it for good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an amazing place. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. So Carolyn says, Algebra, your voice is amazing. I could listen to you just talk, not to mention your singing. There's mm -hmm. only one of you is so inspiring and refreshing. Thank you, Carolyn. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, Nick says, very nice. Sounds like a song fit for a movie soundtrack. Yes, it does. Yes. Let's make that happen. We're yes. going to do that. <laughs> it needs to be somewhere. So, some other folks need to hear it, right? Yes. Other folks need to hear it. So this is a place to hear it, y'all. The Hot Pepper Show on TV. <laughs> share, 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 share. Uh, because algebra needs to be, algebra needs to be heard. Aw. Thank you. So your voice, yeah. so you practice all the time? Is there a ritual that you do before you do a show? Um, I thank God for it. I will say that. Um, I, I enjoy praying with my band. I enjoy that moment. I enjoy, um, 
us holding hands like we're at the dinner table. It reminds me of being a kid and getting ready to do something that I love to do with my friends. Mm -hmm. So that I guess that's a ritual. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. We don't. We embrace all everything that everyone is going through individually. Mm -hmm. um, so when I was younger, like my mom would sit us down and she's like, well, how y'all doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. And like if she hears confrontation, we were little, she would hear confrontation between me and one of my siblings because I'm the oldest and they got on my nerves. They're wearing my clothes. They're going through my shoes. It's like, I can't stand your life. I hate y'all. And then dinner time will come. And weirdly enough, my mom would just start a conversation. Like, so let's talk about hate. You're like, okay. Why are you out of my business, mama? You know, <laughs> your children getting on my nerves. Um, that's what hate is. Uh, but it, it's those type of moments where coming together, mm -hmm. solving something that's so, solving something in a way that we can use in life. Mm -hmm. So that ritual of before I go on stage, having that great moment with my band, mm -hmm. regardless of what their day was like, mm -hmm. um, and actually getting on stage. And nothing else matters. Yeah. 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 Like, that's my ritual. And so oh, I can't eat. I can't eat before I sing for some reason. Like how many hours before? Like eight hours before? Or are you talking about two hours before? I, can, I don't even think I can do two hours. And not because it's sitting there. I just, I wonder if it's like a little mini fast. I just don't like to eat before. I, um mm. I, I just don't. Mm -mm. You got me thinking now. <laughs> Girl, if you don't eat, you're going to die. <laughs> so I don't like to eat. So, you know, when we do supper clubs, that's really hard because they have the food ready for you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, you know, catering. Yeah. Yeah. And meanwhile, I just want my food be once it's over. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm already being fed yeah. something. If I can't eat before a sound check, I'm I'm good. Yeah. Mm. So um what is the perfect setting for you to perform? What is what is are you more of an intimacy person? Does it have to be a lot of people? Can it be two or three? Like what what is what is a perfect setting for you? Um it's gonna be the same show, whether it's two or two thousand. It's mm. not gonna it's not gonna change not for me. Matter. Okay. Mm -mm. It's it's not gonna um, because I'm selfish. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. I'm selfish. I'm doing this for me first. And when I say that, I mean I'm showing up because I do this to love myself, to heal myself, to understand life better. Um, I'm doing it for me first, and then I start to discover the purpose behind it. And then you set out on a mission, right? But I don't want to lose um, the focus of me not having a mission because mm -hmm. it allows me to, to walk, execute my mission, but I got to make sure I take care of me first, right? Mm -hmm. Oxygen mask, right? I love that. So any, uh, I love arena performances. Um, the more the merrier, great. I mean, it's, for me on stage, it's like, oh, so it's, See, it's a thousand, it's two thousand people. Let me see if I can get eye contact with all two thousand. <laughs> How long would it take for me to see every two thousand? Like, whether it's just me on this car, yeah, like I want to see everybody. Um, at, whether it's just me and guitar and a light, or if it's me a full band, and um, or if it's dancers on stage, I like it all. Yeah, I like it all. But what I am a fan of is I love giving a good show. And when I say show, I don't mean for my set. I mean, when I put on a show, it is important who goes on first, second, third. What all? I love it all. I don't care where I am. I'm going to give you the same show if I'm first as if I was last. Oh, I so that. I love being a part of great lineups. Oh, mm -hmm. I love that. I love headlining my own shows, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I do a thing called lips and sips sometimes where, um, and I'm, I sh I'm sure we'll get into the product line and stuff, but mm -hmm. um, I do this thing where it's very intimate. Mm -hmm. It's like a Mary Kay party or Tupperware party from what our grandparents used to do. Right, and, right. Um, 
we get together. It's pr pretty much never over 40 people. And we sit and we sing and we kumbaya and we play and make up and we, and it's, I like that too. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I like being able to have a conversation mm -hmm. between me and my audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's my I, answer. I love your answer. And I think it's great because I know that there are, are a lot of musicians who are introverts mm -hmm. and uh, of course, people would not know they're introverts, but when they get on stage, the other alter ego comes out and mm -hmm. they're the person that people want to see or assume mm -hmm. that they are. But then they just kind of you know, back up because they're, they're not. So I think that's great that I, I my opinion, I believe that people in order to function, you have to have relationships with people. It's necessary for you to survive. Sure. Um, if you were a hermit, just staying away from yourself, it wouldn't be great for your mind. Uh, it would definitely work on your psyche. You know, you you you, you gotta you gotta be in a place of operating and and being around people because the energy of another person, you know, it's it's like it kind of works together. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think it's necessary. And and we were talking about COVID earlier. I think that COVID. Um, you know, was was good, and I I think there were some negative parts to COVID. Mm -hmm. But I I I believe that it was an eye opening experience for everyone to to get something mm -hmm. from it because it wasn't mm -hmm. all negative. There was some positivity about it because it shut it shut things down, so you had no choice but to operate with the people inside the house that you're not used to operating with because you lead different lives, you go different mm -hmm. directions. You know, one's working in the morning, one's working at night. You know, you pass in, in the middle of the day, or you know, so. I think that, um, yeah. I, I, I okay. do believe in that. And I think during that time also, we had to be our most honest and most vulnerable. Like isolation ain't for nobody. Like let's not get it twisted. Yeah. Um, I love being alone. I, I like spending time with me. Mm -hmm. I, I think better. I, mm -hmm. um, I, I think somebody, one of my friends called me an ambivert, where I'm kind of like both. Uh -huh. I think yeah. it's called ambivert. And I get it. And when you said alter egos, the first thing I thought about was, is it an alter ego or is it a mood swing? Because when I don't want to be bothered, I don't want to be bothered. But when it's time for me to show up for myself, yeah. I got to show up for myself. Yeah. But I can still have I can. I am. I am so amazing. That I know that I can have multiple emotions at one time. Mm. Right? But mm. you have to be. And this is when I say I, I mean, just us like we forget that we are some amazing beings. It is OK to have five emotions at one time, still execute this, still have dinner cook, take care of these three kids, hubby coming home, wife coming home and still be amazing. So it is basically being pliable and adapting. Right. Mm -hmm. Um perspective um i'm not tired i'm healing that's why i feel this way mm -hmm. you know what i mean you go to the gym you work out da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. eat the bag you're good and then mm -hmm. not the next day but the day after that you're like oh i can't move my arms it's right because right. you're healing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your muscles are repairing so yeah are you in pain or are you healing yeah. are you tired or are... so you have to listen to yourself right um like yeah, I, and and we do that with each other. You have to be. We had to be very honest during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. You had to be honest enough to say, you know what, I'm not as kind as I would want to be, mm -hmm. or your kids were finally around you for longer than whatever, and your kids are discovering like, hey, I don't mm -hmm. like my mom, mm -hmm. or I don't like my dad. I don't like his character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, and as a child, you got to figure out, like, yeah. what do I do with these feelings? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Parents, you know mm -hmm. what? My my child is a little off. I don't, I need to figure something out. Because we had to be together to discover mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. We are conditioned to be away from each other all the time. We don't take naps. It's a lot mm -hmm. of things that mm -hmm. constitute to us being aware of how great we are and how we move in this life. Right. How we show up. Right. When I can't show up for myself, 
I'm going to push myself to show up for somebody else. Mm. And nine times out of 10, that person that I'm showing up for, is mm. so, it loves me so much. They're going to remind me, hey, thank you for showing up for me. But now I want you to show up for you. And it just continues. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be great all the time. Not it's levels to this thing. Sometimes you just got to be still and heal. Yeah. And let somebody else do this. Yeah. 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 Wow. I needed that algebra. Yeah, man. Just yeah, but while look here, while I'm trying to have somebody else to to take over, I just need to to make sure they go do what they go do. Yeah. See, that's why wait right on it. Just you do what you do. Oh, I know. You do I know. what you do. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Algebra. My best you, in my head. <laughs> you good. Uh, my Paris Music Inspirational Music and Video says, Greetings, Pepper and Algebra. Great interview, as usual, along with gifted vocalists. And I understand. I do not eat before I sing. Never, never, never. Yeah. I wish. Shoot. I wish I could eat. I was in the studio one time and Aretha Franklin went in the booth uh -huh. with a plate of food. And I was like, <sighs> and I ain't talking about chicken wings. Right, I'm talking about like pork chops and probably cornbread. Cornbread and some like, What? Who does that? Got it. J gentle reminder, Algebra, you got to get where she is. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, just like, how, uh, just, just what? Okay. <laughs> okay, Lord. So I'm trying to think. Do I? I do because my 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 family sings. So I, yeah, I, I do eat. Yeah, I, I get up. I if if it's in the morning or something. Yeah, I eat breakfast or. Matter of fact, I'll probably eat right before. I'll probably put some of my mouth like getting out of the car and going, Woo, yeah. let me get a bite of this 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 orange right quick or, or eat this apple mm -hmm. and then you know, ten minutes later, getting up singing. And it's yeah. I've never thrown up or I don't have any problems. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I guess it's, I it's just depends on what, what you do. But now since you told me about the, the plate that Aretha Franklin had. Oh yeah. And you know, like, okay. <laughs> it can be I mean everybody has their thing. I know a couple of artists that they like to, um, I think it just depends on you and your body too, because yeah. I know a few artists that they'll take a sip of brown mm -hmm. and um, it warms up their vocal cords, right? Yeah, yeah. But I also think it depends on where you sing from, what type of singer you are. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do hot tea or, you know, mm -hmm. I don't have a, um, there are certain things that I have to, I know when it's right. Like I know when it feels right vocally. Um, mm -hmm. I, I never drink um, before a show, mm -hmm. um, and I'm a bourbon girl. I love bourbon, but mm -hmm. I, I admire. I'm envious of my artist friends that can be on stage with a glass, and I wish I could sing with wine, but I can't mm -hmm. because yeah. once I feel it, I might start freestyling, and it'll be a whole other song, yeah. and then that's just that I'm going to turn into a rapper and it's just not, that ain't what you came for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. You did not do that song like I remember that song. Run and Hide was not like that. She went into that. Like, oh, ain't the words. Those ain't the words of the song. How's she gonna change the song in the middle of? I don't know. I don't know It'll be like she, 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 she sang Outcast. She, <laughs> she, she sang J. Cole. That's not, uh, <laughs> Right, turning to somebody else for a it. second. That is not yeah. it. Uh, Monique says, "Be still and heal." I like that. Yes, that was mm -hmm. very nice. So, um, the song I tried. Uh -huh. Tell us about that song that I'm about to play. Oh, so that song is not released. It is. So I'm working on another project, and I what I tend to do is I'll I'll play some of the songs that I have yet to even record, just something that I've written on the guitar and I'll play it in the show just to mm -hmm. test the waters to see if the audience likes it. And mm -hmm. this is one of the songs that, um, that I typically play sometimes it's not out, but, uh, if you guys like it, I'm, I'm definitely going to put it on the next album. 
Nice. And uh, it's just a song about <laughs> a song about a girl and a boy. They tried to make it work. And then there are these reasons that it didn't work. <laughs> but you gave it a try. That's gave all. it a try. You so gave it a try. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now I'm getting ready to change this up. Okay. Now, since you told me that this is exclusive, like uh -huh. nobody else has it, uh -huh. it's going to be the last song. Okay. 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 That's fair. So, yeah. I, so I have two more songs that I want to play. Okay. Uh, one of them I want to do the video to because I think um, I want to see people see you in your element. Okay. 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 So the song that I want to play is, let me get over here and get this song right quick. You're going to be like, what you about to play, brother? Uh, there it is. Okay. Uh, let me go over here. And put you over here and put you over here. Why is this so here. exciting? I'm like all interested. Like, what's this? Like, what's about to go ready? down? It's about to go down because I want you guys oh, to see this. Oh, got yeah. it. Okay, so um curious why this song, because this is a remake of BB mm -hmm. and CC Winans. Mm -hmm. Uh, why this song? Um that is also an Anthony question because that was a that was a situation where it's kind of like forevermore. I, I got a phone call. Okay. Um, like, hey, I have this idea. You know, let's do it. I was like, okay, let me well, here, let me hear your idea. And when the song was heaven, I was like, I love this song. I I, I have a whole dance routine from grade school. So the original version of this, I'm, I, I was I met BB Wine recently, and I told him like as soon as I find that video, I am <laughs> gonna show it to him. Like I'm a little girl doing these liturgical dances, and I, I, I think it was so good. And my mother was so happy because mm -hmm. I was dancing to a gospel song finally. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that. That's <sighs> yeah. Heaven is one of those. Um, they broke barriers with this song too. And it's so fitting for the time that we're in. So I thought it was a perfect idea. Mm -hmm. um, it is definitely Anthony's, um, him calling upon me to do this record and some other records. Um, we work really well together when we um, executing. Sometimes it all it takes is a phone call and yeah. voila. Nice. So everyone, this is Anthony David. And Algebra Blissett with Heaven right here on the Hot Pepper Show. I'm Algebra Blessed. I'm Anthony David. And this is Heaven. Yes. Oh. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's over. There's no more use for guns and war. Cost me a lifetime just to gain this sweet reward. The streets of gold. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine somewhere where love will never be? Yeah, yeah. Never grows old. It's what I live for A place where love will never cease Willing to die for yeah. Heaven is where I want to be Yeah instructions that we must follow to a T in order to reach them and there is where I've got to be streets of gold can you imagine 
So, you know, people are asking me, are uh, you going to sing? Because they keep hearing you in the background, doing the dibbling and dabbling and do the hoota, hoota. I hoota, hoota, And I'm like, I don't know. All I can do is ask. I mean, she, might, she might bring out the guitar for all I know. Listen. Huh. Y'all funny. I don't know. Yeah, they, they, they funny, girl. They funny. They funny. I love it. We love you too, girl. Oh, Okay, so Margaret Owen says, awesome, smooth music, love it. Thank you, cousin. Thank you, Margaret. Yes, and Monique says, so effort, effort, effortlessly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tripp says, absolutely beautiful. I don't know what Tripp is. Thank you, Tripp, for joining. Just a sonic delight. Thank you, Tripp. Yes, you guys, don't forget that... Um, Please share, June Murphy says, breathtaking. Please share this YouTube channel. I am trying to get 1,000 subscribers by November. Mm -hmm. I got 304. So, uh, Algebra, you need you to will. subscribe to my channel. Heck, I uh, will. I'll YouTube, do it right now. It's, uh, the handle is The Hot Pepper Show TV on YouTube. Okay. And then I have another podcast that I'm a part of called Four Corners with Pepper Thomas. So okay. subscribe to both of those. They're free. Four Corners with Pepper Thomas, and the other one is The Hot Pepper Show TV. So okay. subscribe, 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 subscribe. And, of course, The Hot Pepper Show is every Monday at 7 p.m. Four Corners is twice a month. It's a pop-up show we've had on there. Carol Riddick. We had Randy Bolin a few mm -hmm. weeks ago, who's the guitarist for Kim. And other mm -hmm. people in the industry who played for Peace of a Dream, Phil Simon, everyone. Uh, we had mm -hmm. William Beckton on, who is... Uh, um, Gospel artist. Now he's a minister. So he was on okay. that platform. And uh, so, yeah, so support, support, support. Uh, my friend Algebra is on here. Algebra, uh, Algebra, go into the private chat. I'm going to send you a chat in a minute. But I'm about to play okay. another song because we okay. love that. Uh, when you were singing that, I was thinking of that time when BB and CC came out because mm -hmm. I think in that time in gospel, mm -hmm. um, people were like, what are they? Like, oh, yeah. Is that? gospel or wait is that i, I didn't even you know what's crazy about that is i never 
like it's during the 80s so I, I never thought about what genre it was it just mm-hmm. felt good mm-hmm. you know what I mean it was mm-hmm. I, I as I told him um <laughs> I thought they were married. I thought they were husband and wife based off of the music. You know, as a kid, I'm not thinking about their singing. Yeah. Um, they're singing about glory. They're singing right. about how much I, I spent so much time in church. I just was happy that it didn't sound like <laughs> oh. James Cleveland. Like I was just so, yeah. And yeah. I, I didn't think about the genre, but it, it just transcends. I, I will say that 30, 30 years later. And it's, um, that was something that he was very adamant about letting us know, you know, for the song to resurface the way that it did. And um, just a great, yeah, meaningful song because it's applicable. It's so yes. applicable. Yeah. Yes. So speaking of church, um, mm-hmm. how, so how was um, the journey that you were on with the type of music that you are performing, how was that received in your family and in the church world? Was there an issue? Interestingly enough, it was not. I think I always felt like I was telling the truth. Hmm. Um, and what is the gospel? The gospel is the truth, right? Yeah. So um, I didn't. I never really got any backlash in that way. I never had to deal with bumping heads with anyone in my family because keep in mind I knew I would be a part of music somehow but I was okay with not being the person in the front right Mm -hmm. um I was going to be a part I was going to be of the arts so a calling is a calling like you just Mm -hmm. you just kind you maneuver right I've done everything from being a songwriter for other people to um being a background vocalist um I have I, I I've I've produced I've co-produced and Mm -hmm. I was okay with just being a part of something bigger like I Mm -hmm. said and Mm -hmm. um with my mom she is a musician so she understood it it was all about how I write how I um deliver this what is my message Mm -hmm. but it wasn't stressful at all um I didn't have to I was very proud to let my mother hear my music she played on my first album um she's playing bass um, on um, the song called I Think I Love You. That's her on the bass. It's her and a friend of mine named Daryl. And um, mm. it's Daryl Freeman and my mom on bass. And beautiful. we, yeah, I didn't get much backlash, interestingly enough. Now, my granddad, her dad, he did tell me one day before he transitioned, he said, well, baby, you need to be singing gospel. And mm-hmm. I said, okay, granddad. Bet. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. He knew where I came from because my mother's a pastor. So mm-hmm. he was he was late getting into that side of the game. Right, so it right. was very interesting to hear him tell me that that's what mm-hmm. I needed to be doing. Mm-hmm. But I also understand because sometimes when you have a newfound faith, you want everybody on board because that thing feels good, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. him talking to me, he had yet to understand that I've been singing, singing gospel my entire career. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So you look up, if you think about it, Conversations with Her is a gospel record because mm-hmm. it's definitely the truth. Um, mm-hmm. And um, it's not, if it's helpful and mm-hmm. it's to be applied as um, a part of my service, then, you know, my mom never had a problem with it. And when we released Heaven, we did Fox 5 in Atlanta. And the day that Anthony and I were on Fox 5 Atlanta, talking Mm -hmm. about Heaven, my granddad transitioned that same day, like right before. So we jumped on Fox and I just pray that he got a chance to hear that song. Mm -hmm. It's, It's this it's been a crazy ride. Like you never, it, like I said earlier, you never know what people go through. You just show up. Mm-hmm. You show up the way you want to show up in the world. And mm-hmm. it's not necessarily alter ego. It's embodying all of these emotions, but not losing the focus. It's mm-hmm. not about being hard. It's not about being, oh, strong. Yeah. No, you show up. I'm hurting on the inside, but I also know I have a job to complete. Mm-hmm. Yeah, A job that I love. Yeah. So... Yeah. But no backlash, and I gave him what he wanted. He said I need to do gospel, and I did. Yeah. 
And you so do. I did an actual song that he would be very, very proud of. Mm-hmm. So, well, granddad, rest in peace. That is a yeah. beautiful story. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Sure. Girl, I'm having a good time. So tell us about this lipstick. You have a lipstick line? I do. Tell I us do. about the lipstick line. So the lipstick line, the lipstick line, the lipstick, the lipstick line. line. All right. So the lipstick line. I need some lipstick algebra. I need some I lipstick. You. I got you. So 2019, like right before uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, we shut down, I started getting into I had been studying it for about maybe a year, year and a half from mm-hmm. some of my other MUA friends. And they were encouraging me to do something because okay. I wore their products mm-hmm. and um, they were like, you should have your own. You have people coming to us. So I prayed mm-hmm. about it. I mm-hmm. did it a year later. And um, two th- by 2020, Landed real estate in Neiman Marcus. So it's also at ne- in Neiman Marcus. You can nice. go to NeimanMarcus.com. But I would love for you to get it for me because Neiman's has Neiman's has five of my colors. Um, and right now I'm up to 23 colors. And wow. um, okay. the name of it is Love Lips Kissed by Algebra B. And uh, I have these amazing colors like blue. Um, oh, wow. Really? The plums. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. And so the lipstick they're, or lip gloss? They're lipstick. So I have both. I have lip glosses, lip stains. Um, the lip, I, I don't like calling them a stain. I, I like to call them long lasting because they don't come off. They're mass proof. I didn't know they were going to be mass proof, but they are. So that's just an additional selling point. And I started off with five colors and now I have about 23 and um, like they're just they kind of come this is like a, a gucci green red all the lipsticks are named after the women in my family oh um, wow and i see that the the uh, containers are clear all of them yes. are clear. nope so i have so this is one let me see let me pull this one out okay so it's love I'm lips kiss by algebra b mm-hmm. okay i just put that in so y'all hear it is like. at the bottom Oh, so these are called my duets. So it's a matte on one end and a gloss on the other end. So it's two in one. Um, These are my mascaras. Mascara. Okay. Yeah. Um, And these are some other glosses that I have. So that's that. That's the other venture. And that's in, um, like I said, it's in Neiman Marcus and. Someone says nice website. Girl, they on here already checking it out. Nice website. (laughs) So this is the yellow mascara, and I love these because you can bend them. I don't know if you can see that. So you can get like under your eyes. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I have yellow, blue, purple. Really? Oh, yeah. Algebra. Okay. Y'all support algebra. Love the kiss by algebra. Now, what are those? So these are, I sell a three pack and a five pack. So these are the five packs. So you can like mix and match any five That's products, cool. get a discount. And they come in these little Ziplocs. Um, and I also have, wait, hold on. Do I have, yep, I got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is amazing. Y'all support. Now y'all know we love some, well, I love lipstick when I interview. So <laughs> I, some- I have a candle line as well. So. Oh, okay. So all the candles. The same yep, same website. Travel okay. candles and big candles. All of the candles are named after one of the songs. So this is heaven. I have a you do it for me, and the description of like what the sin is. So, and these boil down to not boil, but they burn down to massage oil. So you burn Ooh. them. Ooh. Yeah, when you burn them, mm-hmm. take it out and be like, yeah. Oh, this is one of my favorites. And um, what is that? So this one is the one that's named after a mixtape that I put out called Dessert okay. Before Dinner. And it just has like six songs that were never on any album. It's a, a duet with me and Eric Roberson. I think I put Black Gold on there at the time. Um, so it's just a bunch of songs that never got released on a record, but it's like a little EP that I did. Okay. I'll send, I'll send that, that to you. Yes, I'll send girl, it to you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm I'll like, send oh, it to you. Girl, like, I got everything. Yeah. And I'm like, that don't sound familiar. I will send that to you. Love it. So, y'all, it's Love Lips Kiss by Algebra B. Mm-hmm. Support. Oh, this, thank you for sharing this. That's, yeah. Yes, that's, absolutely. 
Let's support black business. Yeah, it's a it's a lot of lot of different colors. I don't know if y'all can see that palette. Oh wow. All right. Okay, so I've always wondered, you always wear a lipstick, or I don't know if it's a gloss, but you always have this brown mm -hmm. and this lightness in between the brown. Like okay. So how do you get that? Because I noticed it on your very first video. When I first saw it, I was like, how is a lipstick like that? What is she doing? So you always have this neutral thing what going did on. I do? Oh, so okay, back then. I forgot who my makeup artist was and she's going to come shout out to her because I can't remember her name right now. Okay. Um, but with my own lip line, I, I think I know what you're talking about. There is a creation. So I have a nude. I have a lot of nudes for girls of color. Right? Okay. And we call that ombre. Okay. So I would take, this is one of my duets. Okay. This is a cream that I have. And, um, I put it on the inside just to okay. create that balance. Let me see. I could probably, what I got on my lips now, Lord? I got on oh, some gloss. Let me find out. So these are some cool nudes. Yeah, I, I, I would just, okay, I'll create that. So what I'm going to do is, are we going to do it now? Yeah, y'all yeah, paying attention. Y'all better look. look come you. on, come on in. Look at you. Wait, wait a minute. You didn't, you didn't you didn't We're getting ready to get some lessons. Let me see if I can get, um, take this off. Um, okay, so Monique says, um, what color do you have on now? It blends so, so I well with you. I had on my gloss, the one of the duets. So on one end, it's like a um, a clear tinted, and then this end is gold. So I just put them both in. Oh, okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this chocolate. <laughs> okay. I can't believe I'm doing this. What you got me doing, Pelpa? <laughs> you know That's how they used to do back when we first started, like selling product. They used to do this. They'll put their hand behind. Yeah, but so you can see it. <laughs> What is happening? What is that? Be like, he see it right there, right there. All right. Let me see if I can do. I don't have no mirror. Let's see. This is brown, right? Okay. Okay. Coming closer, girl. Yeah. Let me okay. Put this like that. So you're doing the brown at the right. bottom. Mm -hmm. You see that? Okay. Can you see? Yeah. So you don't use uh, lip liners. I don't need it because of how the spool the um the spoolie is. It's diagonal, so okay. I can just go around the edge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Girl, you gonna have me uh, put down my lip liners. Yeah, so this is this brown. Okay. Right? Okay. If I wanted to lighten it up, that's Carrie. That's after my, my grandmother. Carrie, okay. And then I can use a little pink if I wanted to. Ah, uh, okay. I like uh -huh. Okay. And if I wanted to go lighter, I would use this cream, which I love to put on the inside of all the colors. Uh huh. I see. Oh, you oh, see that? It lightens it, it right? up. Uh huh. Because you think, is it, it gonna be white? Is she gonna have white in between? Right. Mm -mm. But it gives it an even more natural. So you can go as pink as you want, as light as I you like want. That. Yeah, and there we are. Y'all. And that's matte. And you can I do like this that. in a in a gloss, in a um mm -hmm. I'll send you some stuff. Thank you. I can't believe so I did it, that. I can. That's what happens on the hot pepper show. All she <laughs> does is ask. She'd be like, so huh. you want to do it like right quick. So so the yeah. um so the um, the the lipstick mm -hmm. does it moisturize your lips? Yes, it does not Good. dry your lips out. Yeah. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. It does not dry them out at all. Okay. And you can just nice. bring the colors up as much as you want. Um, one of my favorites is um, I love this purple gloss. Ooh. Good for everyday, like light tint, you know. Yeah. So yeah, just go on and buy all the colors. Y'all, yeah. y'all hear that? She said go and buy all, all the colors. Yeah. Yes. 
Okay, Carolyn says you are the perfect model for your line of products. Thank you, Carolyn, and so could you be. <laughs> <laughs> you liked what she did there, Carolyn? She says, and you too, Carolyn, <laughs> can be a model. You yeah. too, Carolyn, can wear that. Yeah, buy it, post it. Yeah. So let me, let's play another song, and then we're going to play the last one. It's going to be the latest, uh, the unreleased. Okay. And if they, you know, okay. you said they really like it. I so like let's girl. play uh, this one. Um, I love that you guys did this song by Lady Annabella. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember when this song came out and I was listening to it on the country station. Yeah. And, and then they would perform it on every one of the country um, Grammys or nomination shows they had uh, mm -hmm. during that time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I guess this is another one of Anthony's like, hey, I got this idea. Let's do mm -hmm. this song. Yeah, we were, um, we actually have each other on a group text, like what would be great songs? And this was one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. This is so, definitely one of those. <laughs> here's something, um, this is the latest by mm. Anthony and Algebra. And uh, you're gonna remember when you start hearing, you're gonna be like, I know that song. <laughs> I know that. Oh, Monique says, nice line. Thank and you, Monique. Carolyn says, she's planning to. All right, that's what I like. See how I just oh, put yeah. gloss on it? I'm gonna make it a gloss too. Oh, wow. Put See, I like that too. Mm -hmm. And I like that the brown, mm -hmm. thank you for making the brown brown and not, uh -huh. So dark, dark, dark brown. Uh huh. Well, here's the thing: of... some people like dark, dark brown. But what happens is, I have a black that you can mix in. Oh. Like you, honestly, you can buy three colors, and you have all the colors you need. That's why I sell them in three packs and five packs as well, because oh, you don't. Wow. You can have a red, but if you take that cream, then you can get you a light red, a dark red. You know, move in between right. the colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like music notes. <laughs> Put them together. Yeah. I like this. I don't, this is a beautiful idea. Thank wow. you. COVID, look what COVID brought about in Listen. 2019. Hey. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So everyone, here's the latest song. This is I Need You Now. I might mm -hmm. be a little bit drunk, but you know, I um, had some alcohol, I but yeah. Blame it on the alcohol. <laughs> Blame it on the alcohol. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys check it out. Picture perfect memories scattered all around the floor. Reaching for the phone, cause I can't fight it anymore. And I wonder if I ever cross your mind. For me, it happens all the time. It's a quarter after one. I'm all alone and I need you now. Said I wouldn't go, but I lost all control and I need you now. And I don't know how I can do without. I just need you now. Oh, 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 oh. Feel the shadow whiskey. Can't stop looking at the door. Wishing you come sweeping in the way you did before. And I wonder if I ever cross your mind. To me, it happens all the time. It's a quarter after what I'm a little drunk and I need you now. 
said I wouldn't call, but I lost all control and I need you now. And I don't know how I can do without. I just need you now. Yes, I'd rather hurt than feel the thing at all. It's a quarter after one. I'm all alone and I need you now. And I said I wouldn't go, but I'm a little drunk and I need you now. And I don't know how I can do without I just need to know I just need to know So, Algebra, do your other siblings sing? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Um, okay. Y'all ever done instruments? Yeah. Um, just around the house. Like, they're all weirdos. So, <laughs> I hope your siblings are not listening right now. Uh, they probably are, and <laughs> it's good. It's All okay. of them are weirdos, and I love them so much. They're my little weirdos, and I'm so thankful because they made me a great aunt, and they are the best. But they do sing, and my nephews and niece, they love music, and um, yes. they sing. So, yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Someone said, you guys put your own twang yeah. Bang on this. Love it. Yeah, you did. Thank you. you. Did. So are y'all going to do a video for that one? We did like a little snippet. It's on it's on his page, on his IG page and okay. mine. Okay. Yeah, I'll put it up in my, I feel like it's on my website on my linked, the link okay. tree thing. Right. Yeah. I think you can, um, yeah, we did like a little blurb when we first did the song. Nice. Well, um, y'all, let me let y'all know what's coming up because we're about to play the last song by Algebra. Um, next Monday, my guest will be Alex Harris. He has a new project that just dropped, um, uh, or it's dropping the 18th, I think, this week. So his name is Alex Harris. He's going to be my guest on uh, April the 22nd. And um, April the 29th is world-renowned bassist Gerald Beasley. Gerald. Gerald, yes. Um, March the 6th is Raul Midon, mm. I guess. He has a new album that just dropped. And mm. on May the 13th, Herb the Fanon. Yes, R&B artist out of uh, Kansas City. That is May the 13th. And May the 20th, I just booked Revel Day. He's out of um, California. You're going to love him. R&B artist. And then on um, May the 27th, Lawyer Turner, the gentleman that is behind my introduction for my show. He has a new uh, project, a gospel project, and um, I'm excited to have him on. So uh, still looking. He for sounds so good. Oh. He, he sounds amazing. Yeah. He, he's good. He's, he's really good. I'll have to tell him that you said that. I will let him know. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, if anyone has any artists that they would like to send my way, 
that they believe that I would be interested in, in having them on the Hot Pepper Show, please email me at hotpeppershow at gmail.com and I will take a listen to their stuff. And um, Algebra, I will connect you and Blanche. I'll do a, yeah, uh, please a, do. a text and, and uh, connect y'all. And don't forget to send me William. Yes, Will Willie Hine. Han. Willie Han. 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 Yeah. Han. And then who I is the it. Chris Theory? I heard him on the song. Oh, Chris. Yes, he's amazing too. I'll send all of that over. Yeah. Okay. Chris is a producer, singer, songwriter. It's great. Okay. Uh, right all of them Atlanta. Atlanta? Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, you mentioned an artist that I would play her song all the time. Mm-hmm. What is she doing, Nivea? Because I used to play Don't Mess with My Man. My man. Yeah. Her. With That's that. my other airy sister. She's um, I don't know. I think she put a single out um a while ago. But so Nivea good. is, I, I she oh, what is she doing? What is she not doing? I mean, I think she's wow. one of those people that you know you have your hands in everything and yeah. been an amazing mother, um, artist yeah. and like what, like what is she not doing? And I did. She's doing like reality TV, and okay, she's gonna forever be a vocalist. And yeah, um, yeah man, yeah, I love my people. Yeah, girl, I used to play that song in the ground. They'd be like, "Here she come with jagged edge and Nivea." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> love it. Love yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So, give everyone your uh, website and also. Yes your uh how they can follow you on all social media platforms okay. and then if you want to say your holla etches your shout outs to anyone out there and um anything else you want to say mm-hmm. before we play the last song yeah well first off thank you so much for having me pepper um it's a long time coming and whatever you need from me i am here um shout out to all of you who are listening and staying tuned and sharing this information with everybody, you can go to my website, algebrablessed.com, um, A-L-G-E-B-R-A-B-L-E-S-S-E-T-T.com. Instagram, it's Algebra Blessed. Um, well, at Algebra Blessed. Twitter, mm-hmm. yes, it's Algebra. Facebook, my name is Algebra. And I know I should have had all of it the same, but who knew all of that stuff was, who knew? It's too late to change it now. So, um, but yeah, thank thank you, thank you everybody for listening and staying tuned in and share the word, share share good music, keep sharing the good music. And um, my next, um, yeah, go to the website too soon. I'll be posting some shows that I have in the in the area in Atlanta, but of course abroad. Mm-hmm. Those are coming in so. I know I do Instagram all the time. So what I do on Instagram, it typically goes to Facebook. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I still don't know how to use Facebook, but I'll get there. I don't. I don't. It's so it's so stressful. It is stressful, and I don't. I don't know the. I don't know what to do with it. Okay, but I am trying, <laughs> and it makes no sense that I should not know. But. I'm gonna do better. You're like, I don't know. I don't know. Are these different? I don't I just don't know. They keep like, changing what it looks like. And uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah. So hey. <laughs> that is funny. Um uh, uh Brian what? This is my friend from Kerrville, Texas. You know where they had the eclipse uh, a few weeks ago where everybody yeah. was in Kerrville, Texas? This is mm-hmm. him. This guy Hi. aligns my body. Oh, he has healing it. hands. Yes. All right. Healing God hands. put him on this earth to heal. Yes. And after I tell mm. you, he's the best of y'all. Brzezinski is his name. Pepper, this is amazing. I love the music. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so, so, so glad. It might be his wife, Michelle, but I think it's Brian. Okay. Uh, Gloria, my sister. Oh, love, love, love. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Gloria. Uh, so you don't want to. Gloria. I love it. You know, I was about to say, uh, you go sing or you'll get the guitar. And then you just start singing Gloria. Yeah, because Gloria sent the heart. <laughs> Let me grab one of these. Um, the enchantments. The enchantments. Okay, so y'all don't judge me. I just got on my shorts. <laughs> well, don't let me roll around and see what's going on. Let me just let me just stick to where I'm at. I'm going to sit right here. <laughs> That's where I'm going to sit. This is what I do. I don't wear shoes in the house. So I'm barefoot. You just roll around. Yeah. Okay, we're introducing, you know what your name is? 
Let me see what your name is. Y'all, we're about to introduce you. Green Eggs and Ham Quartet, featuring <laughs> algebra. Green Eggs and Ham Quartet. Hilarious. Let me take one of these out. Let me try. Mm-hmm. All right, can you still hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. All right, cool. All right. Yes, At this time, in this place you are, are mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at this moment in my life, you belong to me, to me. so much I will settle for this touch my arms back to each other but how you feel from conversations I know what they feel is real the past that didn't last the present went too fast the future soon will be I wish that far I could see but at this time in this place you are mine Oh, no, 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 and at this moment in my life, y'all belong to me, oh, to me, yeah, 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 it's cool. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, oh. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, oh, I was gonna keep on girl. I was like, what else you got? Like uh, thank you, Pat. Yeah, well, this the the song that y'all about to hear, like uh ooh. yeah, we gonna Go ahead and play. I hope y'all like it. I hope I hope y'all like it. Uh go ahead and play it. They might like it. If y'all like it, let me know. If not, then just if you don't like it, don't let us know. Because I want to know. It does matter, but then if I like it. That's that, look at if I like it. She said, "Cause that's your show." <laughs> if I like it, then it, it, that's what matters. If I like it, <laughs> <laughs> look at uh, I'm being selfish. I'm taking mm -hmm. care of me, and yeah. then I will take care. Of, yeah, so yes, that's <laughs> that's how you gotta be. So Monique says, "Great interview, Algebra. You are so chill with great energy and a beautiful, soothing voice. ATL love. Thank you Thank both." You. Thank you. You're welcome, Monique. And then she has hand claps. And then Gloria says, oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Thank you, Gloria. And Brian says, I like it. Oh, uh, you like what she almost did, but you ain't heard it yet. But it's about to come up. <laughs> oh, thank you, Brian. So everyone, um, thank you. Keep, keep, keep coming back every Monday. Uh, mm -hmm. If you don't get a post from me, I'm here every Monday. So. I'm only one person and I'm trying to do it all. And sometimes it becomes overwhelming, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing it because I'm trying to take this mm -hmm. to another level because this is necessary. Uh, this platform is necessary because there are great artists out there that need to be heard. And so, hey, where, where can you get to, to vibe with them and find out about them and listen to their music in its entirety? Because... Um, yeah, this this is great. Right, I thank you, Algebra Girl, Bestie. Thank you, of course, friend. Of course, yes, friend. friend. Where have you been? Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> Monique, absolutely. That's another one. Love her. Exactly, exactly. So Carolyn says, find fanta fantasing. Fantasing? Fantasing. Fantasing. I like it. Yeah, I do too. So everyone, here's a song exclusive only on the High Pepper Show. So I'm a, we go, we go play it, and then we go wait till the end because we want to know what y'all saying. And then we, we're okay. gonna go, we're gonna let her go. Okay. So this is a song I tried. Yeah. Ooh, I'm I'm nervous. I like it. I love this feeling. Go. <laughs> Let's go, y'all. Here it is, exclusive on the High Pepper Show. I tried like the algebra plus that. Wait, hold on. I'm not that version. Stop it. Am I wrong? Stop it. I don't like that version. Which one did they send you? Let's see. Hold on, Pepper. Can I send it to your phone? Oh, I can't hear you. Girl, I'm over here like, okay. So, uh, so yeah, send it to my email, hotpeppershow mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Um, so pre people probably didn't know this, but um, at this time, that was on the soundtrack of Roscoe's, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Was. Yeah, this is the best. Oh. Oh, so someone is agreeing with you about Facebook. Richard says, I know, right? He said, No, thank you to Facebook either. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard for me. I I I can't um it's just a lot that's going on. Yeah. That I need help with. And the way that you guys are able to just maneuver through that mm -mm. is amazing. Yes, because I don't know how to, I still don't know how to, yeah, I just need a tutorial, that's all. What can, how, okay. I'll, give you, I'll give you a tutorial, girl, because I, I, I didn't figure it out. I'd be like, oof. Yeah, it's, it's a lot for me. <laughs> and sometimes I think Instagram, I'll be like, what? How mm -hmm. do I get over there? What is, yeah, I, I become confused. And then I, now I'm on TikTok. Oh, that's another one. Okay. And I kind of figured out about TikTok, but it's like, yeah, it's it's a it's a lot of traffic. I think I just like um being being able to be fluid. Just can I post somewhere and then it just goes through. Yeah. Can yeah. Can I do that? Yeah. If I can do that, we're we're good. Yeah, because you can yeah, you can. So you said it, girl? Yeah, I did. Yeah. You sure did. Okay, let's do this, y'all. Let's get this. Yeah. See that technology? Mm -hmm. Huh? You just be like, yeah, we go do this. Let's break this here. Bring this here. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, girl. Okay, I see what you're talking about. I understand now. You were like, no, that ain't the song. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like that person. That's not it. <laughs> No, we ain't doing that. No, Pepper, stop. I was like, okay, let me hit that button. Okay. Yeah. Let me see here. So, okay. So, y'all, here it is. We want to know your honest opinion. What do you think? I know, Carolyn, I was on mute. I missed something. Okay, so here it is, you guys. I tried exclusive on the Hot Pepper Show. Here goes.
Am I wrong for feeling like the man in this here relationship? And am I wrong for living up to every time you call me independent? Am I wrong for getting upset when you want to open doors for me? And am I wrong to catch an attitude because every time we eat, you eat for free? I don't mind being the breadwinner, no. and I don't mind cooking the dinner, no. But you ain't bringing nothing to the table And all my taxes I can't even claim ya Make up, do it again mm -hmm. If we cake up, lay up, start to pretend If we break up, make up, do it again We ain't do it again, I can't do it again I tried and I tried to forgive and still love you But I can't It's too soon and I'm not ready Daddy. Sometimes I wish to God it was another woman in the picture And that'd be perfect, cause I could walk away and never even miss ya I must admit, I'm not trying to be a mama to a grown ass kid And it would make sense for you to be a man, but that is not what you did I don't mind taking out the trash, no and I don't mind doing all the things you ask But you ain't bringing nothing to the table And on my taxes I can't even claim ya Start to pretend I don't wanna do it, I can't do it I know I tried and I tried to forgive and still love you But I can't It's too soon and I'm not ready. I tried and I tried to forget and still trust you, but I can't. I want to, maybe I'm too petty. Maybe I should be more patient. Try not to complain. You try to be kind, and you stop pointing the blame. Neither of us want to lose. But what do we have to gain? Getting back is just insane. And we both know you won't change. Do it again. up and Start to pretend. I don't want to do it. I can't do it. Nigga, you know I tried and I tried to forgive and still love you. But I can't. I can't. It's too soon, and I'm not ready. And you know I tried and I tried to forget and still trust you, but I can't. I want to, maybe I'm too petty. The part about the no, you know what it reminds me of? What's that? Stokely song with Snoop Dogg. Or Snoopy saying, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I was like. Hilarious. She got Snoop Dogg. No. No. Right. Girl, when you said, I can't even claim you. Mm. Tax day. Monique says April 15th tax deadline. Can't even claim you. Monique will listen. Mm -hmm. Carolyn says, I love it. Thank you, Carolyn. Monique says, love this. Your lyrics are so relatable. Yes, they are. Thank you. Yes. So do you struggle anytime? Is there ever a time that you struggle with lyrics? Like the song had just will not come together and it's still sitting there five mm -hmm. years out. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Hmm. Um, yeah, absolutely. I 
My answer is yes. <laughs> I have songs that I just, they are incomplete. Mm. But now that I'm saying it out loud, maybe they are complete, but because this is the job, it's the career, it is, mm -hmm. there are, there's, there's structure. Yeah. Um, it could be complete, but because I need two verses, you know what I mean? Yeah. What if there's nothing else? So I, I go back and forth with that. And then also, um, I don't really have a, um, I mean, I have a process. We all do. Mm -hmm. But it changes. And there are some songs that there's no chorus to it. And it's mm -hmm. probably never going to make an album. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely a conversation. So, I mean... But there are some things that are absolutely five years old and yeah. they are just somewhere sitting, being themselves. Yeah, yeah, right. Un unheard <laughs> in in a journal somewhere <laughs> with no melody. And yeah. So is it required to have a course? I mean, can't can't you just can you just sing the song and not have a course? Can't you just well, you, you can. You can, um, but when we talk about structure and blueprints and like what it is, um, I'll give you an example. So Nobody But You was probably, when I did Nobody But You, that mm -hmm. song is two minutes and maybe 25 seconds, two minutes. Uh -huh. The shortest song. Um, my label would not, they kept saying, um, put double choruses in it. Um, you need a bridge. You need this, you need that. And Shannon and I were, because he understands structure of a song, you know, it's verse, chorus, verse, all these parts to it. And because it was so short at the time, it was probably the shortest song that's being played on the radio, mm. which is kind of like, I don't know if I was one of the first mm. or, but now the attention span, no yeah. one does five minute songs anymore, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, but it's a short song. It's yes, I think it's two minutes and thirty seconds. Yeah. It's two forty-five. Um, yeah, the label was like, no, it needs to be four minutes. It's like, yo, it's nothing else to be said, sir. Mm -hmm. it, it's just mm -hmm. put it out there. If there tell the is. radio station to play, play it twice, <laughs> whatever yeah. you need to do. No, that's right. <laughs> so we we are. I'm glad that I fought them on that, and yeah. it's like, yo, it doesn't need anything else. Just it's it's too long as it is, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. so there's wow. some sitting somewhere. It'll probably be um, I don't know. Like yes. there'll be other places, maybe not in songs. Yeah, yes. Gloria says she loves it, and thank you. The new anthem when you are tired. Yeah, mm -hmm. when you're tired. So, yes. Yeah, so uh, everyone agrees. Yeah, it's 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 she's gonna put it out. And she's yeah. going to say that you guys encouraged her. Mm. You're the first to hear it. So yeah. happy about that. Thank you. So you're welcome. Algebra, you are welcome anytime you want to come back. Okay. The door is open. I'm going to hold you to that. Oh, it helps. Yeah. If I say it, it's true. So you're, you're welcome anytime. Yeah. Anytime you have something you want to come on and share with the world, okay. this is that you can do it and feel comfortable and be yourself and sit at home and you know be in your house with no shoes on and yeah and shorts and just be yourself hey we're yeah. all family that's what family does yeah. right yeah absolutely you're so kind thank you everybody this was great i love you Pepper. Uh, all right like i said if you need anything from me you got me y'all go to algebrablessed.com find out all things algebra um and yes and look at i gotta figure out how to put stuff on there that i've been doing so my hands are in a lot of different things and yes i i like it i like not being idle until it's time for me to be so yeah. thank y'all for encouraging me you're welcome we love yeah. you everyone tell algebra bye i'll see you guys on monday don't forget that alex harris will be my guest you don't want to miss it new project out and he's gonna um have some stuff for you. Yeah. He sounds like a James Brown and the Al Green and 
it's all mixed up together. But he's oh, uh, that's good. I like yeah. that. Yeah, he's good. So you guys love you. Thank you, Alger. Algebra. Bless yes. that. Bless yes. that. Bless it. Bless it. Allegra. Allegra. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hachu. 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 Okay. <laughs> love you guys. Have a great weekend. Uh, oh, they uh, just do it. Okay, awesome music and interview. Thank you so much. And, uh, everyone, okay, yeah, everyone, try, 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 okay, go. Uh, good night and blessings. Blessings to all of y'all. Be safe, you guys, and see you on Monday. Oh, Monique, man, everybody. Okay, this is it. That's, that's it for the comments. Okay, uh, bye, bye y'all. Love you. Love you, love you, love you.